Hello, hello, welcome, 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 everybody. How's it going? We're going to be playing some more Subnautica today, and I'm pretty excited for that. We're going to have a good time. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a good time. I'm not actually 100% sure. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. It depends on whether or not we run into some baddies or not. But um, I'm assuming that very well might be the case, because at this point, I don't really know what to do other than build a Cyclops. That's going to be the main goal of today. And, uh, well, I'm sure we'll run into some stuff as we explore with said Cyclops. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to double check, make sure that I post it on everything, let people know that we're streaming. Yep, in the Discord, that's all good. By the way, join the Discord if you have not, because that's going to be poggers. Um, I did make a tweet about it, which is also cool. And besides that, uh... I think we're good. I'll, I guess I can double check real quick, make sure. Subscribers only is off. Followers only is off. And finally, emote only is off. Once we get that done going, we can just go ahead and start. No need to talk too much more, because, well, I don't really have much to say. <laughs> I don't really have much to say other than, uh, yeah, let's just get started on some stuff, shall we? Um. All right, switching over to Subnautica. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, let me tab back in real quick. Here we go. Pug, pug, pug. Why is it running like this? All right. Maybe it's because we just loaded in a bit ago. Yeah, I made sure to actually like load in the world before we got going, because last time we didn't do that. It didn't work out too well for us. I wonder if there's like st like attachments you could put on your hands and stuff. It would seem like that would be the case, right? Hmm, I don't know. I have no earthly idea. But anyway, we are looking pretty good in terms of stuff. We got some good materials. I guess we should deposit some of those, should we not? Uh, you know, I might actually... Oh wait, I should probably not have the game muted. That would be a good idea. Okay, there we go, finally. <laughs> I'm so silly sometimes, I keep forgetting stuff like that. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. Sounds a little loud in my ear. Just a little bit, just a smidge. Not by much. Yeah, about that much. About that much, just by five. No message on the radio. Um, we get to we can grab a health pack, I suppose. And I just realized the game's not doing the weird glitch where I have the heat knife effect in the middle of my screen all the time. I remember that was happening last time. I was very confused. But maybe I should try making a base by the mushroom biome. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Wait, hold on. Let me configure this real quick. I need to remember all the buttons because Subnautica works different than Minecraft. Subnautica and Minecraft are very difficult games to play one after the other because um, the controls you would imagine are very similar but they couldn't be more different so just titanium some quartz would be needed a scanner room would take some copper and table coral wouldn't be too bad and a multi-purpose room okay i think we can make all that stuff so just like by 11 two two oh so 15 titanium total would be necessary and then we would need like a fabricator as well and some power i'd assume if we were to make another base will we do a bioreactor actually speaking of we should probably check on our bioreactor currently what's it looking like okay not too bad on stuff we can definitely refill it though which i will go ahead and do but yeah i did kind of want to make a base by the mushroom biome i'm a big fan of the bases as if you couldn't tell uh i think i'm just gonna grab some of uh, just to see some of these. I'll just use the mushrooms. I can't tell if the mushrooms are the best uh, stuff to use or if the, the other thing is. I'm not too sure. It's a little hard to tell. Either way, it doesn't really matter to me. So yeah, we're going to need more copper. We're going to need some gold bits and stuff. What did we need for a fabricator again? I didn't really... Look, we're gonna need a wiring kit for that, which we can make that actually, and we do have some spare lubricant chilling. Um, so we can make a bioreactor pretty easily. 
Um, honestly, yeah, we could definitely make a little base all the way over there if we needed to. And then table core sample and gold. So that should be easy enough. So yeah, we need two table coral, two copper, two gold, 15 titanium, including uh, one more, 16 titanium total. And then maybe some plants would be good. Well, first we should probably make the sea moth, I imagine. That should probably be our first order of business, I'd imagine. But yeah, I'm just planning out like what we would need to make another base, because I do want to make another base around there, because I feel like that area is like kind of important. It seems that way, anywho. Oh, hello, thank you for hosting, Miko. How are you doing today? How's your day been so far? Hello, hello. And yes, we need a lot of stuff for this. I kind of forgot. Um. Okay, but we should have like a good amount of that at the ready. And low, I'm at work. Oh, okay. Good luck at work. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for stopping by. I hope work goes well for you. Uh, lubricant, enameled glass. Got a stalker tooth. We need a lubricant. We need glass, which we have quartz and another thingy. And we need like the advanced wiring kit, which we need two silver ore for, which we got that. And now we need to do um, <laughs> so much stuff. All right. Make a wiring kit real quick. I forget exactly how, how does the advanced wiring kit, oh, you need a computer chip on top of that. So we need more, ca okay, more coral, more copper. I'm realizing we need a lot more table coral than I expect we need ever. <laughs> I'm never, I never have quite enough table coral to work with. And we do not have a ton of titanium either. We probably have enough for one of the like ingot things. I think we need lithium as well for the ingots if I'm not mistaken. Which is in here. We don't have a lot of lithium though either. Mm, that's problematic. You can make one plus steel ingot, I think. Oh no, you need two lithium per? Oh, that's that's a different story then, I didn't realize. I'm surprised we, we're so low on lithium. I feel like if anything, that would be one of the materials we have like tons of. Because I feel like we so very rarely ever use the lithium for anything. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Hmm. I don't know. We could make a propulsion cannon at some point. That could be a good idea. I don't really know what the main purpose of that is though. I do I do like get what it's used for technically, I just don't know like how useful it is in most scenarios. And then here's our quartz, we need two of those, thank you. Got nothing in there anymore. And we don't need that really. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, get some stuff. Okay, that's not ready. One, two, three, four, ba ba ba. Beautiful, scrumptious, and we're gonna go. Oh yeah, I didn't really mention this, um, but I am probably gonna be streaming a bit, l or like not as long today, because I do have some other plans later, which I might be streaming more later actually. Um, but I I'm gonna be breaking up into two things, I think. At least that's kind of the idea I have right now. Alright, that should be good enough for anything we need. Hey Queen, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. How's your... Friday. How's your Friday been? <laughs> I keep forgetting what day it is. How are you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. As always glass and then we need to make that glass lol mood <laughs> i never remember what day it is i usually have been more on top of it but this week i've just been completely spacing out on that stuff and we need copper wire cringe all right this is fine uh do we even have copper to spare oh we have just enough okay good good pretty pumped actually Ooh, what you pumped for what you what, what's got queenie excited today Mm -hmm. 
And then, oh, we don't have enough gold now, though, but we should have some spare. Yeah, okay. Good thing we found so much random gold just chilling. Whew, thanks goodness. Mario Party collab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you're doing, um, you're doing something on Sunday, right, with your brother? You, you sent me mentioned that, I believe. No, oh, yeah, wrong menu. Uh, was that the Mario Party thing, or, or was it Mario Kart? I don't quite remember. Oh, we need three enamel glass for that. Oh, I didn't understand that at all. Oopsie. I forgot about that? <laughs> you probably shouldn't forget about that. It, it was kind of important from what I could tell. At least it seemed that way. Oh, queen. It's Mario Kart. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, but that's cool, though, that you're doing um a Mario Party thing as well. I haven't played a Mario Party game in forever. It's been so long since I played a Mario Party. But to be fair, well, actually, now that I think about it, I did play the most... Well, I don't know if it's the most recent Mario Party, but whatever Mario Party came on the Switch, it's probably the first one that came on the Switch if they made more, and I haven't played them, but uh, I remember playing one on the Switch, and I wasn't too much of a fan of it. Um, not that it was bad, it just like wasn't that interesting to me. <laughs> Didn't really appeal too much to Nate. That is the most recent? Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Put titanium in there. Yeah, we're going to need to look for scrap metal. Is it nighttime? It's nighttime. All right, let's not... Well, let's scan. And then go to bed so that we don't have to go out in the dark. Not really w something I would be looking forward to right now. The one today is a remake. Oh, wait, really? They, they remade a Mario Party? Which one? I remember when I was a kid, my favorites were... I think my absolute favorite was Mario Party 6, I believe, on the GameCube. That was my favorite, but um, eventually, after like so long of like uh, playing it, it, I eventually just um, it stopped working and it couldn't read the disc anymore. Where the heck is the prawn suit? Is it here? Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh goodness! Oh goodness gracious! Six, such a random one. I, it's it's the one I had when I was a kid, when I was a young lad. And I had a GameCube Advance. The only I had three games. I had three games total on my GameCube for for the longest time. Sonic Riders, which I adore. Mario Party Six, which I adored. And then the third one was uh, Smash Bros. Melee. And then later in life, uh, I got um, Mario Kart Double Dash, which was pretty pretty fun as well. I must say, <laughs> that was a really good one. That's probably my favorite Mario Kart is too. But yeah. Which you didn't adore? No, I did. I did. I adored all of them, but Sonic Riders I adored the most. And I was probably the best at Sonic Riders. <laughs> because um the GameCube needed a it needed a card, like a cartridge to save data on it, but my family didn't get one for me. So every single time I started up a game, I had to restart as if it I like I had never played it before. So I had to replay the entire story of Sonic Riders a bajillion times every time I wanted to play it. And I got so good at that game. <laughs> to this day, whenever I boot it up, I know exactly everything in there. Hey Astra, how you doing? Hello, hello. How's your day going? How's your Friday been? But yeah. Yeah, Double Dash was really fun. Double Dash was my favorite Mario. Uh card game, Mario Kart game. <laughs> Everyone says that when they were younger they didn't have the save card. I don't know, they didn't sell it with the console. <laughs> they didn't give you one with the console, so I, I, I didn't know that that was even a thing. I didn't know the GameCube needed one until like way later when I was like a teenager. And then someone like got it for me as like a, like a, like a gift, like here, like save like actually make progress on your game and save it and i'm like oh thank you same with melee and uh same with Sma smash melee and uh whatchamacallit whatever we had to like always like just start from the beginning so any characters i unlocked from smash or whatever i did they gone next time i closed it <laughs> and restarted it it was pretty unfortunate but hey we made it work it's been going well. Nice, 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 nice. Glad to hear that. 
We're going to be playing some Subnautica today. I'm going to try my best not to get spooked too hard. But uh, that's probably inevitable at some point because these things freak me out. And by these things, I mean the big bad fishy boys. Not a fan. But we haven't seen many of them so far. I dread the, the moment I run into a ghost leviathan. That's going to suck. <laughs> Though, to be fair, I think I might be more scared of the Reaper. I'm not too sure. But the Ghost Leviathan would probably would probably sneak up on me. He has Astra Bestie. <laughs> now, when I, now when I hear the name Astra, I just think of the Valorant character now that I don't know how she works at all. <laughs> I call her Pisces girl all the time because she has she does something with like stars and whatnot and I'm like I I don't know how she functions but that's just what I think of but it's a nice name though why is your RR so good what you heard my RR oh no what what wait 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 how why no <laughs> you're not allowed <laughs> remove that from your memory right now <laughs> I'm gonna pull like the men in black like little laser pointer thing and I'm gonna flash you real quick all right just gonna do a like cha-ching, you know, and then done. All right, forget that. Never happened ever. My heart couldn't handle. It. No, stop it. Don't. No, no. Erase it from the data banks. <laughs> right now, <laughs> this isn't a choice. You have no option here. Oh no. I knew it. I knew the moment that because it happened like um. I think someone redeemed it like right after you said you were gonna go work on stuff. And I was like, oh, thank goodness Queenie didn't hear that. <laughs> she would never let it go. And sure enough, here I am. Couldn't avoid it still. Uh, permanently saved in my brain. No. This is the worst turn of events. Aw, oh, man. I need to find freaking lithium. Where do we even. I don't even know where lithium's located. I don't remember where to find that. Thank you, the person that clipped it. was probably Scarlet, I think. Either Scarlet or... Yeah, probably. I don't remember who else. Oh. Uh, I don't remember. Someone else also requested it. What the heck? Where's, where's all the rest of the stuff? Bruh. Man. We can't look for stalker teeth now. What the heck? Yeah, we have the... We have the range. Why is it not... I guess there's just none in the area. Oh, crap, and there's no lithium either. All right, well, I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our other base area and do it that way. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I can't escape it ever. Don't worry, bestie, you can get me back when I eventually... Nico, Nico, knee redeem? Oh, let's go... I always, I always hoard channel points, just in case of things like that. To be fair, I, I get super embarrassed when I do the RR, but I live to listen to people's uh, other people's RRs. I love it. I always hoard points for it, and whenever I get the opportunity, I'm like, go, let's go. <laughs> We're doing it. Oh yeah, we gotta go in the depths. I forgot. Oh boy. All right, chat. You know what time it is. It's time to hold the Oni's hand as we go into the abyss and uh, hopefully not run into anything scary. Oh, I hate it. I hate this. I hate this kind of thing. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. Uh, I've been practicing pronunciation because I suck at it. I feel like I would do pretty badly at that, too. Nico Nico Ni is something very particular. Also, Chad has been trying to get me to do a nya kind of redeem thing. I'm not giving in to it. <laughs> they've been they they've like pretty much the like for about an hour of last stream, they're like, do it, like come on, you gotta add it, you gotta add it. Because, because I, I, I don't think it would work well. I don't think it I don't think it would go well. I'm just saying. Can't do Ara Ara? What do you mean? Any you can do an Ara Ara, I'm sure of it. Ah, that's where it is? Crap. Ah, uh, it's one of those. Man. Some up there, too. The shadow. Oh my god, that shadow. I hate... Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I hate it. 
Oh no. Are other by other people's funny? Yeah, when when somebody else is doing it, it's way funny. But when you're doing it, it sucks. Wait, hold on. There might be more. I hate that. Oh, the shadow. I love the creatures up there because they're like the they're just like nice peaceful giants. But my god, just seeing their shadow out of nowhere scares the bejesus out of me. Ah, uh, it's ah, uh, it's just two big things. Crap. Well, we. It's gonna be tough to get that. All right. Oh wait, I just realized our um, I think if I'm not mistaken, our prawn suit should have some extra. Okay, we'll go back up and do it anyway. Or hot. Either way, it's entertaining. Queen, stop. <laughs> you can't be this down bad. You can't be. It's not possible. Well, actually, to be fair, there's something about this week in particular that it's got chat down bad. I feel like everyone who comes into my chat this week has been just very down bad. What are you doing all the way out here? Man, this is, like, pretty far away from your home, bro. Go back. Uh, and there's some extra lithium here, actually. That might be good. As they should be. Why? Why should they be down bad? Imagine I'm being down bad for Nate could never be. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Queen. Come on. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, actually, I, I I have a I have something very interesting that I was talking about chat that I figured you might be interested in. And that was um a special Valentine's Day stream. And uh, I figured, you know, chat could be my Valentine. So I, I figured I figured that might be something that might have piqued your interest. It's the Halloween horny. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta go to Halloween jail now, I see. I got you, I got you, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, oh wait, we got metal salvage, what the heck? Okay, well we didn't have any of the parts I thought we did, but oh well, we can still process it. Hey Sue, we back at Ram Ranch. Ah, uh, no. You know, I, di I, did I never knew what that was. I just knew the meme of Ram Ranch. And, um, well, I, I don't remember how it came up, but I was just talking about it or whatever. And someone, like, explained it to me. I was like, what? Really? <laughs> this whole time, I'm just like, aha, good meme, you know? And then people were like, you know, like, what? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> you don't know? How are you doing, Sue, though? How's your Friday been? But yeah, only recently did I actually figure out what that meme was from. I didn't know for the longest time. Oh yeah, wait, do we have the grappling hook? I don't think we do. Wait, what do we have on this thing? I don't remember. Do it? Uh, we could do it, yeah. I figured that might be something that might interest you. You are talking about Valentine's a while ago, I remember. Oh, okay, it's not, okay. We do have the grap. Actually, what does it? What? How can we make a grappling arm? Maybe that may be a good idea. Grappling arm would be very good. What can we make with it? Oh, solar? Nah. Torpedo arm, grappling arm. We need benazine, titanium, lithium. We got all of those materials. Oh wait, we don't have lithium, do we? I don't think we have any spare. If we do, then we should definitely do that because that's going to be huge in terms of increasing our mobility and such. No, we unfortunately we use like the last bit that we had, I think. Crap. <laughs> Crap, dude. Alright, it's fine. We'll figure it out. No, Valentine's Day is a Monday. I can't do a Valentine's stream. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. Are you, yeah, then that, that's sad. Yeah, that's why I was that's why I was um I was looking into what day it was. Ah, oh, it's gonna be night. I probably should uh probably should uh wait until it turns day again or just sleep. Yeah, I was looking at what day it was, and I'm like, ah, oh, actually, Monday works pretty decent for me. I'm pretty used to streaming on Mondays and stuff like that. Well, I have been for a while, but I guess that should be assumed. Okay, right, sleep. I'm doing good, just chilling, sipping coffee. Nice, dude, nice to you. I actually had some coffee right before uh, I started up. I like to have a little bit in the morning, right when I wake up, and I like to have a little bit just before I stream. Give me an extra little, just a nice little feeling. Honestly, coffee doesn't even really... 
whatchamacallit. Coffee doesn't really even, like, wake me up or anything. I just really enjoy the taste of coffee. I'm just a fan. Everyone's favorite waifu and can't even take chat on a date. It's fine, I'll do it in your stead. I'll give enough love to chat for both of us. It's all good, I got you. Coffee addict detect <laughs> defective taste buds. Eh? Oh, you don't like coffee? Don't let Sue hear you say that. She's gonna fight. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know. I mean, I, I assume Sue likes the taste, but I just know. Absolute coffee addict, that, that lad. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Grab. Nice. Got our mech suit. Let's go. Don't come near me, big boy. I'm watching you. Don't you dare be coming near me. Aw, oh, you you did it now. You did it now. That's right, you run away. I'm in a mech suit now, baby. You can't fight me. But I like coffee. What 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 do you prefer, Queen? If you if you're not like huge on coffee, what 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 are you huge on? Coffee's great. I agree. I like coffee. I'm not, like, as, like, super into it as a lot of other people are, but I do like it a good amount. I do think it's nice. Hot chocolate? Ah. Well, if it's not hot, then I'm good. I cannot drink hot beverages. I always burn my mouth on them, and I can't, I can't physically do it. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I would like to. I really would. I would really like to be able to have hot drinks with everyone, you know, get all cozy in winter and stuff. But, unfortunately, I just always burn my mouth so I can never enjoy an actual hot beverage. So I just always, I just always go with the cold one. Though granted, I still like the cold one. I prefer for the taste, anywho. But yeah. I remember last time I tried hot coffee, I literally made it. And, um, I waited. Um, like 20 minutes for it to cool and I still burned my mouth on it somehow Like it was literally 20 minutes like I, I watched the clock and everything. I don't know how it. I don't know how I managed <laughs> Sweet Am I great I mean it's the only way I can get caffeine without destroying my kidneys <laughs> Well, you gotta do what you gotta do You gotta do what you gotta do I have a sweet tooth is why I like you. Oh my goodness down bad. Stop the shrimpery. <laughs> oh my goodness. Energy drinks do that. Oh, do they now? I never really have energy drinks. Like, the, the closest thing to, like, an energy drink, quote-unquote, that I really have is, like, sports drinks. And I don't have them very often. I usually will have, like, um, a Gatorade. Maybe, like, once a day or once every couple days, maybe. Just because it's, like, different from water, and it's, like, you know, it's fairly good for you. Well, I don't know if good for you is the right term, but, like, you know, electrolytes and stuff, you know. They're good if you, uh, if you sweat and stuff, which I do because my room doesn't get air conditioning for whatever reason, because the house was built poorly. But, you know, that's the, besides the point. <laughs> it helps you rejuvenate. So, yeah. Let me burn my tongue with hot chocolate before my classes once. Ah, uh, that sucks. Burning your mouth is has got to be one of the worst feelings, I must say. I hate, I hate burning my mouth. Because then, like, when you burn your mouth, like, your tongue on something, and then, uh, you, whatchamacallit. And, like, and you're having something, especially because you, you do it right at the beginning of eating something. Like, if you take out some, like, hot pockets, like a hot pocket, or, like, some pizza rolls out the oven and you just eat them then you burn you burn your uh you burn your mouth and you can't even enjoy the thing you were gonna have anymore that's why i think it's the worst it's because you can't even taste it at that point and then it's like well i guess there was no point are you gonna drop your tooth did you already drop it on the floor maybe i don't know so it's, it's hard, so hard to tell copper are you really trying to bite me? I heard that. I heard that. 
I swear, if I look up and I see you're right next to me, you're gonna get drilled. I got the Gurren log on. All right, yeah, you you stay there. All right, let's see. Did you drop anything? What's this? Creature egg? Nah. Well, at the very least, if they did drop some, I could probably scan them and find them later. But yeah, biting your tongue. Biting your tongue is also really bad. Recently, like almost every day or like every other day, I have been doing this thing where I bite the inside of my cheek. <laughs> or like I'll be like chewing on something and like I'll kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like I kind of like, for whatever reason, like some of my cheek like sucks in and I just bite it. And it hurts so bad. And I mean, you know, it doesn't, it's not like crazy, but it's just like, wow, like what? How did I even do that, you know? That's the kind of thing I'm dealing with. And it's like, oh my goodness. And I, I feel like I very rarely have ever done that, but recently I've done it like almost once a day now. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with me? What am I doing? Hitting your toe on the corner? Aw, oh, it sucks. Imagine having AC. Oh, true. Do, isn't like the UK like don't they like none of them have AC or whatever? I couldn't imagine that sucks Though granted it's probably colder there than it is where I live for sure. I live closer to the equator AC basically non-existent that sucks. Yeah, no could not be me. I Need my AC. I'm just saying and then the heat wave every year comes to kill us all. That's the thing. It's like, how can you... I feel like if you live in an area that is 70... Okay, well, th this isn't Fahrenheit, by the way, because, you know... You know. <laughs> but, um... You know. If you live in a place that's 70 degrees Fahrenheit or more, you gotta have air conditioning, you know? Because, like, 70 degrees isn't that bad. But, like, come on. <laughs> you gotta have it just in case, you know? If you regularly have like a certain time of year where you can get to like a fairly hot degree, like you need air conditioning at the, you know, just in case. Like you say, like, like, you know, if you got a heat wave, like, what are you going to do? Just die? <laughs> Apparently. Apparently so. I'm going to take the prawn suit again. Prawn suit's fun. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, these is. And we will revive like Jesus after a week. After after a, a week in hell, you come back. Instead of three days, it's just a week of heat wave. Like, oh, fun, yay. Yeah. I remember one time, I, um, I, I feel like I have the worst luck when it comes to that kind of stuff, like heat and stuff. Because, um, every single... Uh, time I went to New York like because some of my family lives in New York so I used to like visit them every so often like every couple years and stuff or every year sometimes um, essentially I would uh, or we would um, go up there and it would always be the hottest week out of the year I don't know what the deal was I, I just brought the heat with me wherever I went and uh, I remember one time we there was some reason where we had the visit like in December instead or something like there was something going on um maybe like a family member was like had like a surgery or something like that I don't quite remember it was so long ago um probably when I was like five or six I believe or seven maybe I don't remember my ch my childhood memories are very very easy um but essentially I would just like we went up there and it was like a week before Christmas, you know, so it's like winter, it was snowing, you know, and stuff. And I, I, I was like, oh boy, I'm going to see snow for the first time, you know, like this is going to be crazy. And uh, we went there, a heat wave came literally the day I got there. Like, you know, there was a heat wave and uh, it lasted the entire time we were there. And the day after I left, it started snowing again. <laughs> I was like, what? What? <laughs> Come on! So, I've never actually seen snow before. Because, uh, every single time I've gone somewhere where normally it would snow, it uh, just became hot all of a sudden. It just couldn't happen. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's my demon power. I have no idea. I have no earthly idea what could have been the cause of that, but... Oh well, I guess I'll never know. 
I'm gonna take the prawn suit up, cause... We need to get all the items out of it. All systems online. All systems online. Right. Let's take you on a trip. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on. I accidentally messed up the trajectory of that one. Just go straight up. Don't even move. There we go. And a little forward. There we go. There we go. Pog. Heatway story. It was really hot. I was doing PE, and when I came home, my mom noticed that I had visibly tanned. Curse from an Oni. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it on purpose. <laughs> I don't think... I, I, I don't know if I had anything to do with that, though. I can't say I did, because... I don't imagine I would have been anywhere nearby at the time. Man, we got a lot of stuff, actually. What the heck? Oh, granted, we did find, like, two, uh... Oops. Found a bunch of stalker teeth, and we also drilled two big things. So honestly, it doesn't make sense, I suppose. But at least we got lithium now. We got as much lithium as we need, and then some. Uh, we need three lead. Um, we're gonna need at least four titanium, I believe, and then, yep. Wait, do we make three tit- oh, we made three titanium. I don't think we needed that many. Oops, I think I made more than I needed to. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, no, I did. Because we have a plasteel ingot already. That's right. Okay. All good. I do apologize, though, for your bad experience. But I don't think I personally had anything to do with it. But I don't really know. I didn't even know I had this power <laughs> until a while ago, I guess. You know, I never even thought about the possibility of me causing <laughs> heat waves and stuff. But I do apologize. It was never my intention. Trust me, I, I wish I didn't have this ability. It's more annoying than you could probably imagine. Alright, and put that in. Pog. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, so now we need to... I guess just start crafting again. Alright. So we need two more. Plus steel ingots. And then we should have close to everything we need, I believe. Um, we don't have a titanium ingot. Why is that? Oh, did I? Huh. Oh, I guess I did make the right amount. That's weird. I don't know why. I thought we had extra. Weird. Or maybe I'm... I don't know. I'm getting all kinds of confused. <laughs> My brain is going off here. <laughs> what the heck is happening with me? Cyclops. So we just need more enameled glass, which is fine because we found a ton of quartz, which I believe we kept enough, did we? No. Okay, so we need... We need one, two, three, four, and then one, two... Three. Okay. Yep. That is the exact amount we need. Let's get crafting again. Glass. Glass, eh? Actually, speaking of drink, let me take a little sip here while we're crafting here. And then that should be it, right? I believe if I'm not mistaken, that should be it. Yes, that is all we need to make a Cyclops. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a Cyclops. That is so hype. Okay. That's actually really cool. I'm excited. Um, okay, so let me think in my head what we're gonna need. We're probably gonna need to move that power cell charger into the Cyclops when we're ready for it. Honestly, we should probably plan out what we want in there, though. I don't, well, I guess we should probably build it and figure out what it comes with, huh? Okay. We're also gonna make this efficiency module. That's gonna be Pog. All right, let's go up and go to bed. I wonder if, can we take the mobile vehicle bay? I don't actually know. If we can, I'd like to move it a bit closer at least, but because I don't even know how the Cyclops is gonna like move. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to steer it very well, given I've never had one before. We're gonna need to refuel that in a bit. All right. Woo! I cannot wait. 
This is gonna be so cool. Ah, the Cyclops. The pinnacle. The pinnacle of succeeding in Subnautica. I think, anyway. I'm not too sure. Pack up mobile vehicle bay. Pog. Okay, per perfect. Yes, let's move the mobile vehicle bay a bit closer. Yeah, I think, like, right around this area would probably be good. Like, more towards the openness of the, like, the reef back, like, area. I think that would be optimal for it. Let us do five. Oh. Why does it always move my inventory like that? I don't like that. I feel like it should probably consult me before moving my inventory, but oh well. All right. Actually, I should probably save before we do this, huh? Save. All right, we got Yugs, Joey, Kaiba, Bakura. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and let's make a Cyclops, baby. Ooh. Let's do it. Give me the info. Oh, wow. Experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Well, I don't really have an option now, do I? I don't think so, computer, so I'm just gonna have to do my best on my own. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my god, this behemoth. Yo, this thing is huge. That's crazy. Oh my god. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. And it has its own storage built into it? Oh, let's take the grand tour. This is where you put a vehicle, I guess. I I've seen a, a bit of the Subnautica, but I'm not... I mean, not the Subnautica, the Cyclops. But I'm not exactly too sure about it. Yo, this is so cool. And all the power cells. Open decoy loading tube. Oh, that's cool. And we can put the vehicle dock in there. Okay. And this is space to put stuff, I suppose. Health little gauge, fire extinguisher, that, those are always good. We can close that, I wonder what the purpose of that is. I would have no idea what the purpose of that is. Maybe we can, I don't imagine you can detach anything. Oh my god, what? Okay, I'm assuming that's its lights. And we can edit it from inside of it. Oh, it's so cool! Alright. We need to change the name of this. Alright. We should name this the... Hmm. Oh, man. What would this be called? This is like our base of operations. The shrine, maybe? Like Onizuka Shrine? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, The Oni Shrine. Yes, 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 yes. Make it bright red. Make the stripe pure black. Stripe 2 also can be black. Or maybe we should make it gold instead. Why the heck did our ship move a bit? That was weird. Did something like bump into it? It's weird. It's kind of like slanted now. Huh. Weird. Oh, it might have. Oh, it might have been a reef back. Kind of just like bumped into it a little. Maybe I have no idea. <laughs> maybe we can make these like more of like this color instead. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. It's a little hard to tell though. And then name could be that. All right, done. Engine offline. Oh. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I see. I've seen people. I've seen people like. Do, oh, oh! It was a reef back, just kind of like bumping into us a little. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good to know. Ah, oh, it's so cool though. Conning tower. Oh, that's gonna be so scary though. If we look at the bottom one and we see something under us, like hit it. Oh my goodness! Silent running.
Okay. I kind of think I know how this works. All right. Let's uh let's get this over. Oh, well, actually, no. It's right next to our base, isn't it? All right. Let's get out. And it's so. Oh man, it sucks that the only way to get out of it's from the bottom, though. I mean, not that it's like a problem or anything. It's just like kind of unfortunate, you know. All right, but um. Oh man, what can we do now? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Oh my goodness. Welcome aboard, Captain. I guess we could bring all the materials we would need to build like another base in there. Like, I think we needed fifteen or sixteen titanium for a one, two, three, seven, thirteen. I think. You should make a 10,000 point, point redeem. I got 15k points. What would I make it, though? What in the world would I make it? What, what, what would it be? What would it be? You got any ideas? I'll take suggestions. Because <laughs> I would have no idea. Yeah? Oh, no. I mean, I don't know. Would people be willing to pay, like, 10,000, 15k points for a nya kind of thing? I mean, I feel like, I mean, sure, if people want it, I could, I, I could maybe set that up. I don't know. I don't think it would, I don't think it would be worthwhile, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people want it. <laughs> maybe that's what the people want. I don't know. I don't know what the people want. <laughs> I say do it. Uh... Have you going Super Saiyan for five minutes straight? What, you just yelling? Just like screaming? I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like... <laughs> I feel like that's gonna cause some problems, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna like pop a blood vessel or something if I scream for five minutes straight like that. <laughs> I'm not really even someone who screams like at all though. That is that is kind of my my thing. I don't really, for the most part, I'm pretty like just calm. I think, you know, I'm not really a screamer guy. <laughs> never even uh, never even really watched Dragon Ball very much. Actually, I I I've watched the most amount of Dragon Ball I've watched was one time when I was in uh, Costa Rica, actually, and. Uh, Ah, oh, crap, I'm full of stuff. Oh, wait, I should probably put that in there. Yeah, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Hey, welcome, welcome. I, I actually don't know how to pronounce your name, though. Um, Is it Ash? A Ash is he? I don't actually remember how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. But I do you know you. Hello, how are you doing? How's your Friday going? But if you could please tell me <laughs> what I should call you, that would be really helpful. I'm sorry. I never, I never really thought about how to pronounce your name. I apologize. <laughs> I'm pretty bad with pronouncing names in general, though, so I usually just scramble to guess what I think would be the best thing. So if you could let me know, greatly appreciated. But I hope your day's been going wonderful. Thank you for coming by. He's chill and laid back, unlike me. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I try to be. I try to be anyway. I try my best to be chill and that stuff. We need a fabricator in here, though. I don't think we have one. We need a fabricator. Oh, we need table coral? Ah, oh, we don't have that. That's why you got to give everyone nicknames. Well, I usually, I usually call people by nicknames more often than not. Instead of ah, it's uh. It's uh, uh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, you can call me... So, Ash or... Or, or is that where it's uh? So it's like, it would be ush. Ush? Ash. Ush? Ash. <laughs> See, this is this is the thing. I get so confused. Uh, I'm just bad with that kind of stuff, though. I don't, I don't have common sense when it comes to the names. I don't have any... Ash Ketchum? Yo, let's go. <laughs> I have Ash Ketchum. Let's go. I'm a big fan. I love Pokemon. <laughs> I want to be the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my true test, and to train them is my cause. Oh my goodness. I watch so much, so much Pokemon. I'm a big Pokemon fan, I must say. But yeah, I usually, I usually call people by nicknames, like, 
you know, Sue, Queen, you know, that kind of thing. I'll usually just call people by nicknames more often than not, just because easier. Hmm, say, oh goodness, alright, so it's, uh, so, uh, Ashize, 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 oh no, <laughs> it's just getting worse. I feel like I'm getting further from the dark. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm just slowly going further and further from what is actually the correct pronunciation. Oh no. Ash, you can say normal Ash. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel awful. Oh my goodness. No, don't watch me. Don't like watching me struggle. I can't believe you. I'll seek fluid intake. Don't tell me what to do, computer. I'm struggling over here. Computer, <laughs> computer, pronounce this name for me, please. <laughs> please, I need it. My brain is too small to actually do it myself. It's easier to hear me say it. Okay, I'll, I'll go with Ash for now, but I'm very sorry if it's wrong. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm so bad with that. I usually, I usually can figure it out eventually, but I am very bad at it to be fair. I try, I, I try to ask people about it because um a lot of times, well, it's happened a couple times I should say, where I've asked, or like where I haven't asked, and I've just pronounced someone's name wrong for like ages, and they just never brought it up, and I'm like, what? You should have told me, and they're just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not whatever. <laughs> oh, man. You're fine? That way? Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being understanding. Uh, uh. I'm putting good fuel for the base. It's night. And I don't even know what I'm going to do from this point on. I guess we're going to have to just, like trick out our cyclops with stuff probably that seems like the optimal thing to do put plants in there and whatnot seems like what we're gonna have to do i have a teacher at school that pronounces my name so slightly wrong when i was in school no one ever managed to pronounce my last name correctly it was to the point where i i had spent um 11 years at the same school pretty much or like almost 11 years at the same school and on the day of graduation, where they handed, where, where they called me up to give my diploma out, they still pronounced my last name wrong. And I was like, "Thanks, guys. I really feel like I was very welcome and appreciated at this school. Thank you, thank you. It was. This is very epic. Big appreciate. Thanks. I can tell you really, uh, you really enjoyed me being here. I feel like I was very well accepted here. Obviously, you know. Of course, of course. Don't worry about it." <laughs> Oh man. Oh, oopsie. Enough for me to pick up on it, but not enough to be a big reason to call it. Yeah. That's the thing. But, like, the thing is, they specifically, like, the person who pronounced it or whatever, or who was, like, saying the names, they specifically went to every student and asked how to pronounce their names so they wouldn't get it wrong, and they still just forgot mine, I guess. They, like, wrote every single one down, like, phonetically, like, how to pronounce it. In mine, they just didn't care, I guess. <laughs> it's like, eh, you know, whatever. But, you know, fair enough. So I just leave. Yeah, just like, eh, whatever, you know, I don't, I don't care. Nah, whatever. I can't be, can't be bothered. <laughs> Big poggers. Big poggers moment, honestly. Okay, where can we even put this? I want to put this somewhere, but I don't know where we can actually fit it. We could fit it. Oh, 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 that fits really well there. Huh. Didn't look like that was going to work at first there, but I, I you know what? I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I have a certificate given to me by my high school. Oh, I had to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They spelled my name wrong. <laughs> yeah, at least they didn't do that. They did, um, they didn't use my middle name, though. They used my middle initial, where with all the other kids, they actually use their middle names. I don't know why. I think it's because, like, it, I don't know. I don't remember why the reason was. They just didn't have my middle name in there. I was like, huh, that's kind of odd. 
Alright, we got five. Eat one, grab the others. Uh, yeah, we need the... Ah. How many did we get? We got four? Okay, I'll go back and we plan them. We're gonna have our Cyclops super tricked out, baby. Yeah, I don't know. It's so weird. Schools be weird. Not even my first name. It was fully my surname. Ah. Uh, yeah, last names seem to be, like, the most difficult for, like, a lot of schools to get, I feel like. They just never get it right. I don't know what the deal is with that. There's something about them that they just don't quite understand. There's, like, no, nope, doesn't make sense. Can't do. Sorry. Name wrong. <laughs> I can get a radio in here, I guess. I'll just put it right there. Well, that's not... That's not on the wall. <laughs> Alright, let me take that back real quick, and let's put it on this wall instead, I suppose. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we can get a modification station here if we wanted to. Might be... It might not be a bad idea. Can we actually put a water filtration machine here? I doubt it, right? There's no way we can get... Yeah, Our plants should be fine, but that would be really interesting if we could. A health pack machine wouldn't be a bad idea to have on here. Honestly, you might want that, but I'll wait. This is so cool, though. I'm a big fan. Oh, yeah, we need to grab our thingy. We need to grab our power cell charger. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't know. Schools are weird like that. But granted, I guess I'm bad at pronouncing stuff too, so you know, maybe I can't really judge that much. At the end of the day, maybe I'm maybe I'm the fool. Um Actually, what does it take to make one of these a power cell charger? Cuz we we honestly should probably make two if we can. Advanced wiring kit, ruby, titanium. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. So we need a normal wiring kit, so we're going to need our silver. We're going to need a computer chip, which I think needs um, gold, probably, and copper, I'd imagine. Do we not have copper? I thought we did. Nate, prove you can pronounce things by uh, pronouncing R Ara. Uh, you know? Yeah, there you go. R Ara. There you go. Got it. Easy. <laughs> That's what you, that, that, that's all, that's all you get. <laughs> hope that, hope that proved to you that I can pronounce things. Hope that was sufficient evidence. Computer chip, we do need copper wire and table coral and, uh, uh yes. Okay. Copper wire, cable, table, boo. <laughs> what? Why are you booing me? I did it, technically. Technically I did it. I don't know what you're I don't know what you're what you're booing me for. I didn't do anything wrong. What do I not have here? Oh we need more table coral. Gotcha. Not just one. Don't boo me, I gave you what you asked for. I said R R, there you go. <laughs> Uh Oh, we need two titanium? Alright. One more then. Now we can make two, we can put them on the thing, and then we're gonna have a great time. The thing is though, if we do manage to lose our Cyclops, which isn't um an impossibility by any stretch of the imagination. We're gonna be very sad, and I'm, I, I might, I'm, I'm gonna have a bad time. I'll probably reload the save, honestly, because, I mean, if we're building this much stuff into it, odds are, like, losing it's probably gonna be a tremendous loss, but, you know. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But who knows? I don't actually know how to use this thing very well, so I wouldn't doubt that it could happen. Gotta skedaddle, but I think you're so cool. Thank you for finding me. Oh, no problem. No, 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 no. Thank you for coming by, and thank you be an epic person you're pretty cool yourself no need to thank me for any of that trust me you'll you'll see you'll see plenty of uncool moments of me i guarantee you so don't even worry about it wait actually i just realized is making 
I kind of just, the thought just occurred to me. Isn't making power cell chargers in a, that are fueled by other power cells, isn't that kind of redundant? Wait, uh, you know, I don't actually know. Is that a bad idea? I never really thought about that because it's being powered by the power cells and they're put charging and putting in the power. I guess over time you would gradually just lose everything. Hold on, there has to be... We got that. Sonar upgrade will be Pog. We can make that at some point. Cyclops docking bay repair module, that would be cool. No, there doesn't seem to be anything. I mean, that's the closest thing. Don't question the game. Well, the thing is, is I'm not even questioning the game. I don't know if that's how it works. I I, I thought, I was, like in my brain, I'm like, oh, this is a good idea. Yeah, I should totally build things to charge so that I could just plop them in there when they're ready. But I realized that because this whole ship is powered by that, the power going from here into there would like just diminish over time. So... I, I, no one, I don't think I've seen anyone do that. That was just an idea that came to me. And now I'm thinking maybe that's not a good idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm realizing that might not be how the game works, but I don't know. I guess we can just, like, not have them. I'm, I'm gonna... You know what? I'm just gonna rebuild one back at the OG base, and then I'll carry the materials needed for the other one with me. So when we build our new base... We'll be able to have them in both areas so maybe that will work fine i don't know i never really thought about that that just occurred to me that that might be a very stupid idea i don't really know exactly why i thought that would work it really doesn't make sense in hindsight we can make a battery we can charge our batteries i guess in the cyclops that would be that would be that would make sense i don't know about that though that really doesn't <laughs> when you think about it, it really doesn't Speaking of, let me recharge some batteries. Oops. This one. Now we unequip, unequip. Equip, equip. Unequip, unequip. Now let's... That's fine. This one, that's fine. Okay. We can put the other ones back in then. Alright, buggers. Yeah, so we're gonna need... Well, the thing is, is we're going to need to make a whole nother base, and that's that's the problem. It's going to take a lot of effort to do that, ain't it? I do want to build some upgrades for this thing, though. I really feel like we need more upgrades for this, including a nice little grappling arm, which would be pretty pog. Benazine, titanium, lithium. We have all of those at our disposal. Death module, we need nickel ore and plasteel ingots, which we do not have. That sucks, but oh well, we'll figure it out. We do have the other stuff, though. Benazine, and I think we need one lithium, and then three more titanium. One, two, three. Actually, now that I realize it, I, I wonder how deep our... Uh, how deep does the thing go? never really thought about that. Right. Take this out. Plop that in there. Plop that in there. Yeah, I guess we should probably figure out... Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> Glitch it out. It's fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get in there. Oh, boy. This is going to be so cool. Docking in there for the first time. I think we aim like for right there. I think I barely missed it. Ooh, grapple in. Yo, let's go. Clutch. I'm not even squidding. I'm not even squidding. <laughs> what? Dude, I, I love this guy. Okay, these aren't ready yet. This is cool, though. I like it. I love this. I love everything about this. It's so cool. I guess we should probably take it out for a test run first and foremost, shouldn't we? Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Hold on. Can I access my storage from here? No, it doesn't seem like it, unfortunately. Uh, oh, well. I'll go back to the OG base and save. I don't know. I think we took out everything we had in there originally, so hopefully it's not full already. 
but I do think we should probably take it out for a test run. And maybe go to the bottom of the abyss thingy and uh, drill some of that lithium that we saw down there. I think that might be a good idea. At least not a half bad one. Three, four. Bop, bop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's go. How far into the game are you? That is a good question. I really don't know. I feel like we've done a lot, but I I don't exactly know how far, like how much story stuff there is. Like we we've done we built a lot of stuff, but I know there's a lot of things you need to explore, and there's like a lot of biomes I don't think we found yet. So I have no idea how many hours. Good question. Is there any way to find out without backing out? I don't know. I think I'm around 12-ish hours, maybe. I'm not too sure. I could be 100% completely wrong about that. No idea. I think it's around that time. I know it's more than 10, that's for sure. But I, more than 10, less than 15, I'm pretty positive. So... Yeah, around that range. But I'm sure a lot of people could get much further in this game if they weren't as much of a scaredy cat as I am with the water. So yeah, that probably has like a lot to do with it. But yeah. <laughs> Let's run this bad boy. Probably save again real quick. Alright. So we want to go down there. Engine. Now let's go full speed. Yeah, the noise isn't really a big deal right now. So C, I believe, is going down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so essentially, are you scared of the ocean? Yes, yes, I am. I have a, uh, I have good old. Oh, overheat. Oh, okay. I didn't realize the engine would overheat. That's my B. I didn't realize that was a thing. All right. <laughs> Uh, eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> eh, nande, 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 nande. All right, this is this got this got bad quick. I'm confused. What's the problem? Why is this? Why is this happening? We just we just started. What? What? Nande. I'm confused. Do we hit something? I am so surprised. All right. Well, that was weird. We didn't even. We didn't even like go anywhere. We it just caught on fire. <laughs> the irony of having a fire while it's in the ocean. Honestly, just just sink the sub and and then boom, easy. I guess it's because I was doing, like, the fast mode or something. I don't know. I don't know. Can you can you not, like, go full speed or anything? I have no idea. How deep can we go? 500 meters? That's not too bad. All right, so straight down pretty much is our, our beacon. So we're going to go down there. But, yeah, that was so weird. I was so surprised. Uh, we probably need to look at a camera, actually. Here we go. Uh, how, how the hell did you end up playing this, then? Um, because it's a game I was very interested in for a while, so I got it when it was on, like, a sale on Steam. And since Halloween, you know, Spoopy Month was happening, I was like, alright guys, should I play this game? And people were, like, voting, yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. So I decided I was gonna go ahead and do it. Hello! Uh, can I call you Ben? I, I don't know. Ben, Ben, Bengen Gamer. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How's your day going? Full speed is sort of used in emergencies. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. I just, I didn't realize. I was not expecting it, the ship to catch on fire because of it. So, yeah, okay. I guess if something's on me, that is when I should probably use it. I gotcha now. I just had no idea. I feel like it would have been good to let me know that beforehand. But hey, you know what? That's fine. You know, I, I don't blame you, Cyclops. 
I don't blame you. You're you're cool. I just wish you came with. Well, actually, you might have came with an instruction manual. I have no idea. Maybe you did. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't read it. Just say Ben. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. I hope your I hope your Friday's been going well. Thank you for the tip, though. Yes. I am I am a noob when it comes to Subnautica, so any help is very appreciated. All right. Let us. Actually, wait. How deep can our prawn suit go? Oh wait, I didn't think about that. Wait, hold on. How deep are we? We're 192 meters. Can it go down here? It can go 900 meters. Oh, Pog. Oh, brilliant. All right, cool. I was really worried for a second. It was just not going to function down here. Actually, I should probably check my storage while I'm here. Okay, nothing's in the storage. Pog. I thought so. I thought I took everything out, but I wasn't too sure. All right, drill. Drill. I should probably switch the arms around, actually. I thought... I, I got confused when I was setting them up. I thought drill would be on the right click and grapple would be left click. Or, I mean, vice versa. But yeah, I was a little confused. Is good one week family... Or one week vacation from school and that's really nice. How about you? Hey, nice, nice. Glad to hear that. Um, I'm doing pretty decent. I am... Well, other than my ship catching on fire within one minute of me using it for the first time... Uh, other than that, pretty good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, that, that was just an unfortunate, just not understanding how it worked kind of situation. But hey, you know what? What's new? I usually mess that kind of stuff up all the time anyway. So nothing, nothing new here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. All things considered, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and switch that actually right now. Uh, upgrades. Here we go. Out, out, there, there. And uh, actually, I'll just take stuff out of your storage so you're not full. I don't even know if this is like really something we should be doing. I just feel like, you know, I've been wanting to drill these things with the prawn suit for ages because I've been looking at them. And I'm like, dang it. If only I could bring it down here, you know. I guess technically, I ever since I got the grappling arm, I could have jumped off the cliff and just made my way back up, but I was a little too nervous. I would just lose it down here. <laughs> What's your objective in Subnautica currently? That's a good question. Uh, right now, I have no idea. Um, I'm kind of just hoping to explore. I just built the Cyclops, like, earlier today. Um, but the last, like, kind of story-ish thing that I was a part of was uh, the Sunbeam getting destroyed. That was, like, the last, like, thing that felt like story that I did. Other than that, I'm not exactly too sure. I've just been looking around. I've been going to rendezvous points and stuff like that. Well, I've been there before. I didn't apparently complete what I needed to over there, though. I've been on the island, though. Um, I teleported from the other island by the sunbeam. Um, but it didn't, it didn't get me the mission complete or whatever. But, yeah. So, currently, I've just been building up my vehicles and just hoping to explore new places. Um, but I've also been fighting with my fear of the ocean. So, yeah, that has kind of kept me from making as much progress as I probably could have <laughs> if I was braver. Um, but we've explored a lot of different biomes, uh, last time we played. So, now I've been to both of, the, like, the mushroom-like biomes, the big blue ball biome kind of thing. But yeah, we'll see. You went into the building that shot him down and dealt stuff. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I went to the big thing. I clicked on the boopity boop. And it's like, no, you're infected, dude. You can't turn it off. And I'm like, ah, that sucks. Have a nice day. You know? <laughs> so you went with that. You're so weird to play a game that's like only in the ocean when you're scared of the ocean. Well, I was also really hoping that I can maybe like kind of conquer my fear. I was hoping that I could at least fight it, you know? Because being scared of the ocean my whole life, I mean, that, that that's like 75% of the earth right there that I that is just inaccessible to me because of my fear, you know? You're more brave than me. I appreciate the compliment, but I'm not sure if that's true. I'm trying my best, but we'll see. Then your next goal is in data bank, data downloads, codes, and clues. Or not necessarily a goal, but a hint. Okay, here, let me let me take a look at that actually real right now. Data bank, data downloads, codes and clues, codes and clues, codes and clues. All right. This is a new one. Distress signal. Okay. I'll, I'll just go in them in order. 
Research facility. Oh, 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 Soka. Ah, I see. Disease research facility cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of re in of enforcement platform. Function live specimen study objective synthesis of antidote. Okay, so that's probably what we need to do. Function generate energy at all local facilities. Corrupted, 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 corrupted. Okay, so I'm going to need to figure out where in relation those are. Thank you for the tip, though. Hey, Suave, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. How's the game? Scary, but we're we're trying to learn stuff and we're making progress slowly but surely. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what you mean, like our objectives or like our hints. Um, though granted, I don't know exactly where the enforcement platform is. Maybe, okay, so that's either probably where the sunbeam got destroyed or it's where... It probably wouldn't be where the Aurora crashed, I doubt. Now I think about it, why would they why would they write about that if that was like a long time ago? But yeah. Ah, that's just a reef back. <laughs> I wanna burn all the spiders. I'm gonna play a game with spiders to conquer my fear. Yeah, I don't know if conquering my fear is like quite right, but yeah, that's that was like the hope I was doing here. But yeah, it is it is pretty scary. Oh no, not the Ara Ara. Oh no. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Uh, the game does a relatively lackluster of story leading. True, true, I'm not going to lie. And yeah, it's the gun. Okay, Pog. Oh my goodness. All right, well, yeah, let me prepare to do the RR real quick. Oh boy, it is dark. Is this me? Oh, why is my... Oh, my thing was stuck out. Weird. Um, I'll, I'll keep doing this, but yeah, let me practice my RR. Oh my... You had that many points? Oh my goodness! All right, I need the I need the practice. While while I drill while I drill this rock, I'm gonna do a couple practice runs. All right, and then I'll unmute myself real quick. All right, I'll do my best shot at it. Once the rock is destroyed, we will do the RR. All right. Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm not ready. Ah, oh, ah, oh, jeez. Uh, no, I'm not too sure. Uh, Alright. Let's practice. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Hold on. Never mind. Wait, let's try that again. That was, that was a little weird. That was a weird beginning to it. Ah, uh, da, uh, da. Hopefully that one was good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that was very good, but it, it, hopefully it was half decent, I suppose. 10k? Oh my goodness. Chat moment? No, it's not. I don't even know if I want to be out here right now. Man, this is scary. What the heck? Can we make a bed, actually? Can you make a bed inside of here? That would be pog. I could just, like, sleep through all every night. Basic, yeah, single bed. Can you fit a single bed in here? Oh, oh, it looked like you could for a second, like half a second. It, 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 it seemed like it lit up green, but I could be wrong. You can, you can just put a bed. Oh, yo, that's Pog, all right. Yeah, we should do that. Um, I don't know where it would be the, a good place for it, like right there, maybe. We need a fiber mesh, though. All right. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. All right. Oh my god. Okay. Facing my fears, facing my fears, facing my fears. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. We can do it. I can't even see above us. Alright. This might be the worst mistake of my life. I'm gonna look through the cameras. Okay, single camera. Single camera. This, this one's above? The blood moon. Where are we going? Okay, we're going. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Uh, was nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Oh my goodness. We can exit now. Don't go too fast. Wait, can, can we? Can I hold down on W like just fully, um, and not overheat my ship, or should I like kind of be careful with how much I hold forward? I don't know, because I don't want my thing to catch on fire again. That was pretty unfortunate the first time. I can't even see. It's so dark. Do we have? Where's our lights? There we go. 
There we go. Now we can see a little. As long as you have second speed on, you're always fine. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you for the tip. And hopefully running into these doesn't damage it at all. I'd hope not. Yeah, so as long... Just don't use third speed unless it's like a grave emergency, I guess. So will your ship always catch on fire if you use third speed? Or do you have to, like, kind of control it a little? Because, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Um, I, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> I don't I don't remember what I was gonna say. Uh... Oh my goodness, that is horrifying. Oh my goodness. Just, it's just a plant. It's just a dumb plant. And I'm like, oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh man. Oh man. I'd be in the shadows 99% of the time getting bread just for the RR. Oh my goodness. You're like me, but it's different when I do it. It's better when I do it. <laughs> because it's not me who has to suffer. <laughs> oh man. Fiber mesh, fiber mesh. I should have some. Yeah, I do. Okay, Pog. Not gonna lie, my fear of the dark is clearly not helping me out. Well, yeah, you can't really blame yourself for that. Every human innately has a fear of the dark to some degree. It's just natural. Not being able to see things is, like, just terrifying. You can just right-click to activate and deactivate the Moltra. Oh, okay. Just like every other vehicle. That would make sense. Again, I appreciate the tip. <laughs> what the heck? Do we not have enough for that? Oh, we don't have enough titanium. Oh, well, we have some more down here. Excuse me? Suffering is great, though. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't appreciate it that much. Maybe you do. Maybe that's your thing. I've honestly never tried tapping W while in full speed. Um, well, hopefully I won't need to, you know, do a Mythbusters run of that. Um, but if I do have to, um, maybe we'll find that out. Um, but I'm really hoping, for the sake of my sanity, um, that uh, I will never have to do that. Um, I probably will, though. <sighs> Good night, guys. Oh, wow, that was good. <laughs> that was good. Let's go. I mean, yeah. Crazy. Just right away. Crazy that just right away, though. That just immediately just caught on fire. It's like, oh. Oh, no. No can do. Honestly, I kind of want to destroy this plant. How dare it scare me. How dare it surprise me by just existing. <laughs> Sonic speed type nap. <laughs> Bro, I wish, I wish so badly I can just, like, will myself to sleep. I know some people who can sleep, like, instantly. Like, they just lay in the bed, and they're just, like, two minutes, they're out. Just, like, easy. I, I wish, with all of my heart, I could do it that easily. It's crazy what some people can do. That's me? You can do that, Queen? Oh, I envy you so much. I wish. I wish so badly. I could never do that. I, I can't sleep, like, at all. I have such trouble sleeping. I don't know what the deal is. I just never can. Well, maybe you can teach me your ways sometime. I sleep when I close my eyes for, like, two minutes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I am to you. Man. <laughs> Show me your ways. Teach me. Teach me how you do the things you do. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to make a base somewhere else, though. I wanted to make it by, like, the tall mushroom biome over there, but, like, I don't know if that's even, like, a good idea, to be honest with you. Might be. It might not be, though. I have no idea. But sleep anyway? I don't know. I barely do it. Like, ever. I barely do it. At all. So I, I have no earthly idea what sleep is. <laughs> Functional sleep schedule is for the week. I agree wholeheartedly. Sleeping is for the week. I guarantee. You sleep weak. Weakness. The weakness disgusts me. <laughs> I, I am curious to explore that in particular, though. We might not need the Cyclops for that, though. We might be able to just take the, the Sea Moth. I don't know. We can give that a shot, maybe. I don't think we need the Cyclops for, like, a lot of things. I just wanted to build it, because I, I feel like that would be a good progression. 
I feel like this is like a nice thing to be like, we did it, you know? Like we made it. We made progress. But I don't know if we actually need it for certain things. I'm gonna turn off the lighting inside as well. Just make it run on optimal, like just power saving. Never mind. Never mind. Because if I enter it and it, it looks like that, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Never mind. We're good. We'll leave it on. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it uses up some power. I need to start sending you to sleep again. Um, well, I hate to break it to you, but unfortunately, even when you send me to sleep, I don't really sleep. I very rarely do. My sleep, my sleeping is so bad. I just can't, I can't handle it. All right. So, all right. We're going to need to... Was well, just gonna save a lot of time. Oh, wait, having us. Um, are you talking about um, what you call it? Uh, the what's his name? Cyclops. Would would the Cyclops be good for this thing over here? I don't know. I feel like we don't need it for that, but it might be better to have it for that. But I don't know. I have no idea. I'm kind of just guesstimating things at this point. I I have no clue. I feel so clueless playing this game. How close is this to the Aurora? Pretty dang closer than I would like it to be, but maybe we'll be fine. I don't know. If we need if we feel like we need the Cyclops, we can go back for it, but I mean our our um Seamoth can go pretty deep down. I don't think we need it necessarily. And I think the speed might be a little better, but I have no idea. Do I need to give you goodnight forehead smooches? Uh, I mean, I'll never say no to them. I don't know if they're necessary. On long journeys, you'll have a lot of storage and easy food access. That's a good point. That is a good point. You know what? We need to take it out anyway. We probably need to just learn to use it. You know, it's like a car, it's like a new car. You know, you might be scared to drive it, but you gotta you gotta get used to it at some point. My thing is, um, would it be better to have the sea moth in it or the prawn suit inside of it? Maybe the prawn suit because uh, as the drill. But I don't know. I'm not too sure. It's not very fast though. If we need to go fast in small things, I'm not too sure. And oh yeah, true. Your fabricator mods. I probably need to make another modification statement. Station, not statement. <laughs> um. But yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, we should probably build that too. I'll go back for it. Why not? Queen, why are you looking with that smug face? Why are you looking at me with that smug face? Hold on now. I don't, I don't know. That, that scene, that, that has a slightly sinister aura to it, I must say. Oh wait, we didn't, we didn't grab all the ones we could. There's a bit of sinister to it. Deconstruct it and replace it in the Cyclops. What? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I thought you were talking about the, uh, the vehicles for some reason. That's what, like, popped into my head. I'm like, what, you can do that? But no, obviously not, duh. But you are absolutely right. See, this is why, this is why chat helps a lot. <laughs> this is why chat helps me. Because <laughs> I, I be not smart on my own. Okay, Pog, we can do that. Uh... The rubies in there. I don't actually remember why we had those on us in the first place, to be honest with you. And I guess we could just put the rest of this in here so we can save up as much space as we can. Uh, I'm going to carry two power cells, two batteries on me, maybe? I think that's fine. And then we'll take some extra health pack, water, food, water, because that's a small water. Okay, hopefully that should be fine. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll deconstruct, reconstruct this bad boy. I'm just looking. Okay, okay, if you say so. If you say so. If you say so. I'm gonna take the prawn suit in there, I think. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take the prawn suit. Oh wait, we didn't even take out all the stuff, did we? Nope. Still has stuff in it. We we grabbed four, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't want to put some lithium in here, and like I didn't want to put all my lithium. Oh wait, we're full on lithium. Never mind. All right. Uh, can you go in here? Yep. 
<laughs> one space. <laughs> one slot left. Alright, prawn suit. Let's go. Uh, actually, Ben, since uh, since you know a good amount, it seems like, about Subnautica and how it works and all that good stuff. Earlier, I was um trying to... Whatchamacallit? I, I thought for a second it would be a good idea to... Uh-oh, that's not good. Please, please grapple, grapple in into it, please, please, I beg you. No, oh my goodness. I was trying to build a power cell charger, like, inside the Cyclops, but, um, I realized that, um, you know, it would just be sucking up the, the power of the thingy. Of the Cyclops, just to power the power cells. Is that how that works? Like, would it would that be dumb of me to do? How much damage does this thing take? None? Really? It's like full potential? Full full capacity? I have no idea. Cyclops is mainly used for the prawn just because of how bad the prawn is traversing along the Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I thought that might be the case. I wasn't too sure though. Alright. Well, maybe we should make a this thing. Yeah, power cell charger just cancels the effect out. Okay, so yeah, don't bother having them in here. Okay. Yeah, because I put two on the wall. I'm like, oh, I'm so big brain. And I'm like, wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm small brain. <laughs> I figured as much. But for a second, I was like, I was like, yeah, I got this. This is what a smart idea. But no. Nope. Was not. Was not. Was not big brain. Was in fact the exact opposite. Very small brain indeed. Um, man. Room is, uh... Definitely something we're going to be struggling for, I feel like. Just having enough room for everything we need. Unless you might be able to get some upgrades. Oh, I guess technically we could, uh... Get whatchamacallit. We could get, um... The thermal upgrade thingy that it has. Actually, does this have any? This should have Cyclops upgrades. Oh, death module. And death module, okay. There was, um... Uh, on here, I think. It might have been here. Where it's like, a yeah, thermal reactor, which granted, we don't have any of that. The hell was that? Jesus Christ. Gave me a heart attack. Oh my God. Oh. All right, anyway. Jeez, all right, well, I'll sleep that one off. Alright, I don't know what that was. It might have been like a stalker trying to get me through the wall or something. I have no earthly idea. I'm going to save though just in case like everything goes wrong and I need to reload. Hopefully it's fine. Fish can make a lot of noise when crashing in the Cyclops. Oh, okay. That was a, just a normal fish? Oh my god. It sounded terrifying. I don't know if you guys really heard it as loud as I did, but the, it sounded like something like died. Or like something like tore some claws against this. I don't know if you, uh, if any of you guys played Bioshock Infinite, but it reminded me of the sound of the, uh, the songbird, like, ripping through the metal of the ship, or, of, like, the airship thing. It sounded like that to me. Wow, this is close to the Aurora. I don't want to be that close. I don't want to be that close. I don't want to be that close. I don't want to be anywhere that close. I know I might be a scaredy cat, but I'm a scaredy cat. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm a scaredy cat. I'll admit it. And it should tell me if things are on there. Okay. Alright, we don't need the lights right now, though. I don't think. Oh, something was close. I think I might, maybe I got close to a rock? Yeah, probably. Probably just these rocks. Alright, go a little down once we pass over here. Hopefully we are okay and everything's good. And hopefully we don't die and be bad. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I probably shouldn't say that so, like, casually, but I really, I really do feel my heart beating, like, a mile a minute here. <laughs> Subnautic Terror, it does an amazing job at keeping, uh, uh, players at edge all the time. Honestly, I just, uh, I don't know, I just can't. I can't, there's something about it. So, okay. So, I, I know, um, at least from what I've, like, heard, that, like, the Reapers and stuff are drawn by sound. So, if we were in a case where I detected something nearby or I thought I was in danger, I could just hit that. 
and then we should be like relatively okay you know like is that is that what we do should i like do that as well you know like that kind of deal like just that and then we should be like kind of safe and then if they find it we boost and get out kind of situation that's what i'm thinking but i'm not too sure what the hell is this area oh we're here okay gotcha oh my goodness i didn't recognize this place like at all like, by that, I didn't recognize any of that. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't make you invincible. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much, but yeah. Because they are, like, from what I know, they seem to be attracted by sound, mainly. So I was just making sure. And, oh boy, we have hostiles. I'm assuming it's eels. That's what it seems like, anywho. I hate those sounds that they play, though. I must say. Okay, that's a sand shark. I don't know why. I thought that was something bigger. It's kind of hard to tell perspective based on this. A little difficult to really make heads or tails of, and it got so dark all of a sudden, and I don't like that. What is this? Oh, goodness gracious. I think I'm gonna... Powering down. I think I'm gonna stop right here, and I think... This is probably where I should go in something else. Yay! Maybe. Wait, hold on. How close are we to the floor here? Because we might want to get closer. Because I've, I've been having difficulty getting my prawn suit into here. We're not close to the floor at all. Alright. We should probably get closer, like, right around there, maybe? Is this a good place to stop? It probably isn't. I have no earthly idea. Maybe we could back up a bit? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Alright, I'm going to back up a bit. We're going to back it up. All right, look behind us. Back her up. We're not turning, are we? I don't think we are. No. Raise a little bit up. All right, I don't think we're hitting anything. Nope. Nope, we are clear. All right. Hopefully, this is a decent place to stop it. I hope. All right. I don't know what that thing... I don't know what that thing about... And I assume I should probably just stop the engine when I'm not using it. Alright. I'm gonna try this. Hopefully this works fine. Everything subnautic would probably be a lot bigger IRL than a little... Oh yeah, of course, of course. I don't doubt that for a second. Wow. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Okay. That was cool of you. <laughs> just kind of scare me right out the gate there. Luckily, those things don't scare me that much, really. Mainly anything, like, really gigantic that kind of scares me. How long would you guess those eels are? These ones? Like, the sharks? Or are you talking about, like, the, uh... The, like, uh, glowy ones? Oh, these ones, probably? No, that yeah, that's probably the ones you're talking about. Those, I would guess, are probably, like, about as big as, like, uh... I don't know, like, a school bus or maybe two. That's what I'd probably assume. It took me by surprise so badly. It did too, actually. I was not expecting right out the gate, because I thought I backed up away from them a decent amount, but apparently not. Oh, jeez. They're about 20 meters long. Okay, so, uh, I'm sorry. I use very bad American units of measurement. Um, but essentially, I believe a meter is roughly three feet. So that would mean... Oh, wait, can I actually... Can I pick stuff up with this? I, I just realized. I don't know if I can. Can I? I, I just grapple, huh? Weird. Um, but if that's roughly... So that's 60 feet. What's roughly 60 feet? I have no idea. That would be like 10 me's, I guess, tall or like long. Honestly, that's that's smaller than I would have expected. I think, well, I don't know. That might be, uh, yeah. I don't really know how long a school bus is either. I just kind of guess. 65.6 feet. Okay, so that's like 11 me's tall. Good to know. Wonderful. Wait, where are we going? That way. Okay. This might not have been a great, that might have not have been a great place to park after all, but oh well. But yeah, no, that's, uh, that's pretty big. 
but it's pretty big. I don't know. I don't even know what objects are like roughly that big. Not really the best when it comes to the like rough estimation stuff, but that that is very large indeed. I probably should have gave like a rough estimate in terms of size, how big I thought it was. Ooh, lots of gold. I mean, hey, yeah, we take gold. Why not? School buses are 20 to 45 feet. Really? Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess that was technically correct with what I said. I said like roughly like one to two, but honestly, 20 to 40 feet is does not seem like a lot of space now I think about it for like a bus. Weird. But I guess a bus was like a weird unit of measurement, but I feel like a lot of like creatures are compared with a bus, I suppose. I don't know why. I feel like a lot of people were like, oh man, that's so big, you know, like it's like a bus, you know? like how big it was. I don't know why. I feel like that's what people say all the time. I don't know why I compared it to that in particular. I don't even know if gold is like really even worthwhile to grab, but yeah, why not? Pogu. Alright, but I am gonna warn everyone that if we run into a Leviathan I don't know how I'll react. It probably won't be good at all. These guys are fine. I really don't mind these guys that much. It's not a big deal. They're like kind of annoying and they can take you by surprise, but I don't really find them that bad. But um, other other stuff, other big creatures, I don't really know. I don't know how I'm gonna react to them. I can't like, okay, I gotta jump out and interact with it. It's fine. The thing was right here anyway, so not a big deal, but still. Just a little, a little slight peeve. Alright. Seems like just a PDA is here. Is that really it? Integrating new PDA. No, like, item, no nothing, just a log. That doesn't seem really worthwhile at the end of the day. Huh. Oh well. I've seen stuff measured by school buses sometimes. I guess you just see them frequently. Yeah, true. I guess it's like... Like, that's kind of, like, the biggest, like, that's the most common, like, relatively large thing I feel like people come in contact with. So I feel like it's a very easy thing for people to be like, oh, okay, like, I, I roughly know buses are big. You know, like, that, that, that's, uh, what, that's, oh, that's part of the ship. Oh, I don't know why. I thought that was, like, an eye of, like, a big fish or something. I was like, what the heck? I don't think I've ever seen that creature before. But lo and behold, it wasn't a creature. Oh, wait, something's on me. Where are you? I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. <laughs> I hear you. I don't know where you are, though. Oh. I might have been to the ship already. I don't actually remember. I don't remember off the top of my head. Where are you? I can't see. With all this stuff in the way. Or maybe it's just like in the distance. I have no idea. Oh. What you got here? Oh yeah, we've already been here. I already grabbed that. Alright, we're going out. Oh yeah, true. It could just be yeah, it could just be other fishes going about. That is probably the more likely reason. Woo. So yeah, we've probably already been here before, which means we don't really have any reason to stay. Other than just collecting some more materials, I suppose. How much gold we got? half an inventory we can drill one more of these i guess and we can skedaddle on out of here yeah i don't know if that was really worthwhile at the end of the day i'm trying to remember where this place is in relation to the aurora though or not the aurora the uh the one island i don't remember exactly where the island is the one that the sunbeam got destroyed on i don't remember where that is necessarily i don't know if i want to bring the cyclops over there though because uh that's um it's got a leviathan in it, and I... What is that? What was that sound? I don't know, that was a weird sound. But, um, yeah, I don't know if it would be a good idea to just kind of leave the Cyclops behind with that thing. I don't know if it... I don't even know if it would attack the Cyclops, like, on its own. Maybe it's, like, only if you're inside of it or something? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's 
skedaddle on out of here. Oh, I think I grabbed a fish accidentally. <laughs> Some poor fish was just trying to fly around and it's like, oh, I've been grabbed. I do, I do really need to look into some settings for Subnautica, because I feel like this game lags way more than it should. It's not, like, incredibly bad by any means, it's just, like, noticeable at some parts. Here we go. Thank you, computer. The overall performance of Subnautica is mediocre. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's just the case. I'm not too sure. I feel like... I don't know. Apparently the program they used to make it isn't very good. Maybe. I don't know. It's one of those games that actually like really confuses me with how it works. Because, like... I, I feel like I talk about this a lot. But, like, you know, I I've been into game art. I've studied game art. I know how it works. But, like... For whatever reason, this game, like, really confuses me. Well, some games, it's very weird how they work. Because some games, they... Okay. Let's just ascend real quick. I'm going to go ahead, actually, and take a look at the top camera. And I'm just going to have a gander around. Uh, I think we're... Yeah, we're safe to go up. I don't like looking at the abyss below me, so I'm just going to be very careful doing this and just not look down very much, but I did want to see where the island was. Can you not see the island from here? I think the island was that direction, was it not? I have no idea. We were really close to the front of the aurora, though, I must say. And that's like a completely like cloudy island. All right, let's go down below, I suppose. Exit real quick. All right, interesting. Wait, oh, you can, oh, you can toggle a light on this. That's neat. We could look around more in this area, perhaps. Yeah, you know what? Why not? How much power we got? 90? Okay, that's good. I'm going to try to explore a little bit, at least. I, I just want to check certain things out, like certain areas, especially. Areas I haven't been before, I want to see. All right, maybe this is a good place to stop? I don't know. Maybe not. It's more like kelp area. I don't want to go too far away, but... I don't know. I don't know where's like a good place. Uh, I don't know. They use exp Unity, which in my experience is used often for smaller games. Unity, yeah, Unity is um, it's like a might be rude to say watered down version, but it's like uh, it's like similar to uh, Unreal but just like not quite as polished for the most part. This scares me to no end. All right, all right, all right, okay. Yeah, sorry for, sorry for just like completely going silent there. I just, um. I just get very nervous about this kind of stuff. All right. Uh, we should probably transfer our inventory over to myself and just get it out there. But yeah, no. Um, Unreal Engine and Unity are both free engines used to make games. And both of them are very heavily used. Unity, though, is uh, a lot simpler for, like, smaller projects and stuff. Whereas... Unreal Engine is a bit more professional, or not professional, but it's like it's like used for bigger stuff. It has a lot more money behind it because Epic Games is gigantic. So you know that's kind of the main reason. But yeah, it's pretty cool though. I mean, both are good in their own ways for sure. You know, not one's not like necessarily better than the other. I mean, Unreal just is able to do like higher quality stuff for usually more often than not. And this guy's probably gonna aggro onto me. Moments. Let's 
just gonna I'm just gonna chill in here real quick. They did launch it in beta during 2014 when Unity you you might be considered relatively better. Probably. I don't exactly remember when Unreal Engine 4 came out, and now Unreal Engine 5 is just like godlike, you know, in terms of its quality. Okay, you kind of scared me. Rude. Get back here. I'm not done with you. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that did scare me though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, did we already scan one of these? Oh, I guess we might have killed one before. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie, that did genuinely scare me. I will admit. I will 100% admit, that did scare me. Mmm, this is the blue zone, I see, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Yeah, we'll keep looking around. But yeah, I don't remember when Unreal Engine 4 came out. But now they have Unreal Engine 5, which is just, like, crazy. Unreal Engine 5 is crazy good. Like, unbelievably so. There's no reason to what I'm doing here. There's no reason for it. There's no reason, I feel like, to be here. I feel like there's nothing... No reason. I have no reason to go this way, but I still am. Why? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I torturing myself with something I know I'll be afraid of? Why am I throwing myself willingly into the depths? Just hoping to find something. Just hoping. I could just easily look it up on the internet if I really wanted to. I could avoid a lot of scares that way, but no, I'm like, you know what? It's not part of the genuine experience. Who cares about the genuine experience, me? You're an idiot. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I have to have mental debates with myself about why I do this stuff to myself. I describe Subnautica as an okay polished game with a lot of love put into it. Yeah. It's well made for sure. But it's still, you know, it's still a little clunky at points and a little rough around the edges. But still has a lot of love put into it. I agree with that. You know, it's a, it's a project with lots of love, but uh, probably could have been, if a more experienced like triple A team made it, it probably would have looked and played significantly better in some ways, but you could tell that like the passion was there, which uh, I feel like a lot of other triple A games cannot say. Like a lot of triple A games and bigger titles are just like lifeless, soulless, you know? At the very least, this game's definitely got that going for it. All right, open. Money grabs. Yeah, true. True. A lot of them are like that. That's for sure. Right, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make the flashlight uh, equipped. All right. I can't see well enough with the uh, thing. Oh, we've already been here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we've already. We've already went through this. Gosh dang it! All right. Well, somehow we missed an item. I guess in a door. I thought this was new. We've already been here before? When? And now I'm getting lost. Oh, wait, no. Uh, uh. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got a PDA. Oh, a reinforced dive suit. Well... You know what? I guess we uh, I guess we didn't find everything, so I guess it was good that we went back there, huh? Now, how to get out of here is the question. I guess we gotta go back the way we came and hurry up at that. Because if I drown, that would be very sad. Can't see anything. Oh my goodness. There we go. Got a little confused for a second there, but we're all good. I guess we've been here before. I don't remember being here. I don't remember being so far away. 2,000? 2,000 units away. That's how far I went? Where's my prawn suit? I don't actually... Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't see it. I didn't see the icon. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess with that adventure out of the way... Technically, it wasn't even like a new adventure. Apparently I did that before, probably with the Seamoth, because it's so much faster. I think the Prawn Suit is, like, so much stronger. But it's so much slower that, like, even though you're so much stronger, 
the tension builds up way more to exploring new places. Oh, grab the fish. Oops. Eat. See you. Not gonna lie, though, the prawn suit is super strong, I must say. And it's able to take out the small guys, like, pretty nicely. We're not gonna go, like, crazy far away. But I did want to see... Oh, I hate that. I hate... I hate everything about that. Alright, we're backing away from there. Alright. Ah, uh, you know, I, I put my brave boy pants on today. But they're, they're, my pants aren't that good. They're not good enough for that. They're not good enough for that at all. <sighs> Things I can actually see. I like that. That... No, I don't like that. Don't like that. Not at all. Also, those are very bad sounds I'm hearing. I don't know if those are, like, uh, the sand sharks, or if those are leviathans. I personally don't really want to find out, to be honest with you. I don't want to even take the chance that those could be a leviathan. You know, I think I'm good. I explored enough of that area for today. I will let my fear consume me. That is 100% fine by me, as long as, uh, as long as I make it out alive at the end of the day. I do not care. <laughs> the fact that it's a lot tankier makes up for the clunkiness. Yeah, true, true, true. True, true, true. I think it just, like, balances itself out, yeah, pretty nicely. Alright, uh, no, those aren't ready. Alright. Up, oh, up, oh, alright. Let's sleep for the night. It is night, right? I think it's night. Well, it seems like it's turning night. I can't really tell for sure, though. Uh, it might not be, actually. Yeah, I don't I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. I can't really tell. Alright. Yeah. Um, I can... I can deal with a good amount of stuff in this game. I think I, I've really built myself up to where I can actually, you know, encounter some of the scary stuff that I'm horrified of, and I think I can manage, but um, looking over that abyss and stuff, that is just something that I feel like I personally cannot, cannot do. It's just something that does not bode well. That too. That too I don't like. But I at least I can relatively see the bottom, so I'm like a little more okay with it. But yeah, no. Uh, okay. I don't know why, but looking over there, like doing the like little boost up with the prawn suit just to see kind of like more over the cliff and still not seeing like anything that I don't know. Something about that just shook me to my core. <laughs> Something about that just really made me go like, oh my god, you know? Actually, wait, let me check the other one. There was something we, like, ran by just a second ago, but I, I, I couldn't tell what it was. Oh no, that just might have been the camera icon. Oh. But yeah, yeah. That is, that is just my thing with this game in particular. We should be, like, steering pretty clear of the Aurora, I think. Yeah, we're, we're steering fairly clear of it. So hopefully we shouldn't run into bad Leviathan boys, but who knows. Okay, Pog. Pog, 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 Pog. Yeah, this is like really like high up rocks. I probably should. Good thing I started paying attention now. Oh, okay. We're really close to some stuff. I need to really maneuver this, finagle this real nice. Alright, there we go. There we go. Should be smooth sailing. Oh my goodness. 
I've seen many st Cyclops stranded by negligence. Yeah, because like, I don't know. I just, I just happened to be like, ah, oh, I should probably turn on the lights real quick and see. You know, just make sure that I'm like going where there's like, you know, not rocks and stuff because I'm by like the shallows, I, I realized. And sure enough, um, like there are just some rocks right in front of me. I'm like, ah, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea to avoid. Maybe. Oh, wait, we're going right above the thermal vents. Well, hopefully the Cyclops is beefy enough that it doesn't really matter. Quickly dip out, go to sleep so I can actually see stuff. Honk, honk. Was I hit honking the horn? I didn't. I was trying to press right click to uh, what you call it to turn on the lights, but uh, I might have I might have been pressing the wrong thing. I guess. I was hearing the horn. I thought it was just my imagination, maybe. All right, let's take a look. All right, let's use the camera real quick. Blue. There we go. All right, we got plenty of space below us. It was really hard to tell, honestly. All right, exit. Oops. Turn that off. All right, that was a somewhat, I think, successful run through something, and we got gold, I guess, for our troubles. I think we did relatively okay. Not too bad, but not too great. You know, didn't really do that much, but we got a PDA, I guess, so I mean, there's that. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to look into where those locations of the other buildings are if I wanna make like actual, actual progress. But, yeah. Hey, yeah, and we got the dive suit thingy. I need to look how to make that. That, uh, just in here. Reinforced. Providing physical protection enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. Oh, that'll be good. Synthetic fibers. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if we know how to make those. Oh, we do. Benzene and fiber. Oh, that's not that difficult. Okay. Yeah, we can make that pretty easily. I think we actually have the materials we need. Well, no, not yet. We have two of the things we need. But we have a plan outside, so it should be fine. Excuse me. We just need one, I think. Nice. Yeah. Benzene, and we got a fiber mesh, so we can make a synthetic fiber. And then, what was the other stuff we needed? I forgot. Diamond titanium. Easy. Easy money. Hopefully that's not all of our diamond. Oh, well, we can find more if we need to, I guess. Reinforce, let's go. Because we don't really even need the radiation suit anymore. We haven't needed it in a while. Um, I'll probably still keep it in some inventory slot or something, but... Uh, um, not in there, that's for sure. Oh. We should probably actually put on the stuff now. No more radiation for us. At least not for a while. As soon as you have some blood vines, blood oil will never be a problem again. Yeah, we luckily have some. <laughs> luckily, I thought, like, hey, maybe we should plant that. That would be helpful, right? And it actually worked out well. Did you fix the drive room in the Aurora? Yes, we did. We fixed uh, all the stuff. So there shouldn't be any radiation over there, I don't think. Um, that's why I was saying I don't think we need it anymore, but I'm not exactly too sure if that's the case or not. Actually, I should probably check on my power real quick. Power, power, power. Oh, okay, yeah, we're good. It's probably gone, because, like, um, I did that, like, a while ago. I had, like, an entire full, like, stream since then, so... I think, I think, um, someone in my chat mentioned that it was, like, it took three in-game days for the stuff to dissipate. Which, it's definitely been more than that, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it's not in-game days, maybe it's, like, 
real days, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like 72 hours is a lot uh, for it to dissipate, but I don't know. I think it's so. It should already be good, but... I mean, I don't really have plans to go there anymore. Hopefully, if I have to go. Possible is three in-game days? Yeah, that, that sounded like it made sense. I wasn't too sure, though. Oh, wait, we already... Oh! We stored a bunch of the stuff in here. I forgot. Yeah, we can make a whole entire inventory just for gold. Good titanium, we need two. Yep, <laughs> we'll make an entire locker just for that. A majority of the bulb zone is covered by radiation, so if there were still... I think you should have been affected. Oh, okay. Uh, that was where we just were, wasn't it? In the prawn suit? Like, the big giant bulb things? So, uh, hopefully, that should be cleared out then. Perfect. Good, good, good. Right. Make a gold... Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, Dark, for playing Zawardo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. Honestly, if you would have done that when we were looking over the abyss, I probably actually would have had a heart attack. I'm not gonna lie. But hello, how are you doing? How's your how's your Friday going? Sheesh. Oh, man. My heart is being a mile a minute already, and you, you hit me with Zawardo. Is that how you spell lithium? It is. Okay, Pog. Doing good? That's good to hear. I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. We're doing okay. We we are having many heart attacks every so often, though, because I'm afraid... Well, I am, anyway. My fear of the ocean is cursing me. Um, but we are doing okay otherwise. But I hope you're doing well as well. And honestly, I know we could go over there, and that very well might hold the key to something. But I am so terrified of the... Because I remember teleporting on the island and moving around and I went into the water on the edge of it and I just saw an endless thing of blue below it and I have been too scared to go back um so yeah uh I teleported back the other way came back here and never bothered with that again so I don't know if that's actually important big FOV guy <laughs> nice field of view is this a big field of view it might be. I have no idea. Oh yeah, yeah. I do have. I do have my field of view maxed out. I like being able to see things. What can I say? <laughs> I like a big FOV. Maybe that might have something to do with some lag, though. I don't know. Maybe it would perform better if I didn't have it at such a big FOV. Here, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's do eighty instead. Let's see how we do. That'd be very interesting if your performance was like very heavily impacted by that, though. I'd find that pretty surprising. I guess the best way to check is the prawn suit. Because the prawn suit seems to have the most like lag behind it, it seems like, out of all the vehicles. I played in 720p if I were you, really? Would you? Huh. I mean, I could. I could play something lower, maybe. Is there a reason why? Is it just for like performance purposes? I could do that. I would have to. I'd have to edit something. What is this 936p the stream is in? Um. So essentially, it's unfortunately because Twitch be a sussy baka, and I don't get to uh, stream in 1080p because it lags out. Pe like people can't like watch it because sometimes their internet isn't that good, and they can't lower the quality of it. So us I used to be streaming in 720p, and I wanted to up the quality because I'm like, man, 720p is just not not it, Chief, you know? So I looked into it, and apparently 936p is actually really good because it won't lag out people's internet that much. Like, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But also, it's a perfect um, 16 by 9 ratio, so it actually will work well with, like, the encoding thing, and it it's, it's nicer, essentially. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, here, let me take a look. 
Let's see, what, 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 what can we do? Oh my goodness, what are the, what the heck? There's a lot of interesting options here. Alright, let's work our way up from 720. I don't know if I want to play in 720, to be honest with you. Maybe we could do it by this, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, this this was a mistake. What the heck happened? Hold on. Why is it sideways? <laughs> Mistake. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> okay, how do you can okay. Control oh 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 wait, hold on. There we go, okay. Let's 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 put it back. Let's put it back to where it was. Alright, that was weird. <laughs> I understood about 33% of what you said. Okay, so essentially, um, I guess to put it in the simplest terms I can, I can stream 1080p. Twitch doesn't let viewers lower that. So if they have bad internet, they can't watch stream. And I don't like that. I want them to watch stream. So I used to stream 720p, but the quality wasn't very good. So I found a resolution that is a good ratio and uh, won't be like crazy, like hard for my computer to stream. So I went with that. <laughs> That's essentially the idea, but it has better quality. So it's kind of like somewhere in the middle where like, you know, viewers will, more viewers will be able to watch it with relative ease and I can stream it and it looks pretty good. So yeah, that's kind of the idea, but yeah. That's not a 65. Oh, use the one. Well, I did. It did have a thing by it. That's what I said. Like, yeah, it has a, it has a star right there. See? That's a 16 by 9 ratio. Because, like, it's 1600 by 900. But I apply it and it goes like that. <laughs> it just just to the right. So it's not, it's not like I, I did the wrong thing. It's just, I guess maybe it doesn't know what a 16 by 9 ratio is. Maybe. <laughs> That's why that's why I selected it because it had the star by it. I'm like, oh, the 1920 by 1080 one had that. Oh, I mean, okay, let's let, let's just play. Let's just see how bad does how bad does this look? How bad does this look? I wonder. Okay, well, this isn't optimal, I'd say. And and by the way, just for anyone wondering. The screen that you're looking at where back to game and save are to the right, that's how my screen looks. There's nothing to the right of the the potted plant on the right. There's nothing to the right of that. That's the end of my screen. I can't see anything on the right of me. <laughs> just just so everyone here knows. <laughs> that just I I uh <laughs> you know I, I can't even change the option now. It's not, I can't even reach that. How are we going to do this? What are we doing? Yes, we, we are playing in full screen. As you can see, the little checkbox is go. Maybe, maybe I need the, um, here, I need the alt enter it real quick. Oh, well, we, that doesn't help anything because we can't. How are we going to fix this? Oh, and now I changed the display that we're playing off of. Well, this didn't work out. Now did it. Crap. Well, Crap. Uh, um, oh god, I think we might have just ruined it. I have, I don't think I can actually fix it at this point. Unless somehow I manage to... Wait, wait, I saw it for a second. I need to switch it back to the original monitor. Oh, I think I, yep. Okay, there we go. Okay, back to one. And now we need to... We need to throw this all the way back around so that's okay that hopefully that's close okay that's close that was a better option all right there we go oh my goodness <laughs> Whoa, okay oh man you're, yeah i am playing in full screen yeah and you're playing via steam yes i am i am playing via steam this is a uh, the steam version of the game oh boy all right well we're gonna have to play at 1920 by 1080 because uh well you saw what happened <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna have an option in the matter. <laughs> the game said no. No, you have to play it at this resolution. It's the law. And, uh, you know what? 
I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell Twitch it's wrong, or I mean Steam or Subnautica it's wrong, because uh, yikes. <laughs> All right, but would it be a good idea to even go there to the back to the dry land? I don't know. Would it be a good idea? Actually, wait one second. Can I pull up my the beacon of the sunbeam again? No, he can't. Okay, that sucks. Uh, unfortunate. Did you do anything there? Okay, so essentially, um, over there, if you're talking about the rendezvous point, I went... Well, the thing is, is when the Sunbeam contacted me, and it's like, go to the island over there. I think it was over there, like to the left of the Aurora. I went there. I went to the base. I checked out the thing. I still had some time, so I activated... Or no, no, after the sunbeam blew up, I activated the portal on that island, went to that island, and went around, scanned stuff, grabbed plants, and then I left when I was ready. I thought I explored the whole thing, but apparently I didn't. And that's why the, I think that's why the icon's still there, I don't know. I was asking because he can't set the game resolution before launching via command, but it's all good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that was uh, unfortunate. Did you find anything that seemed of importance? I found uh, grow beds. I found uh, tablets. I think I found a purple tablet or something there. Um, I found a lot of plants. I found observatory fragments, I think. Uh, but I don't know. If it, if it was anything like super, super important, like really important, like literally like, you know, something that seemed relating to the story, I don't actually remember can't really remember I don't think so but apparently the the waypoint hasn't disappeared so I have no idea if that still has like some importance to it I don't really know you went to life pod 19 after the sunbeam event that is a good question um operational logs public document no um I don't know I don't know if we've actually gotten anything from a life pod 19 oh no yeah second officer keen's life last life pod location oh that yeah no we went there a long time ago that was like one of the first things we went to actually we went there before i believe yeah yeah i think we went there before we went there actually i'm not too sure uh i might be wrong about that though but i'm pretty sure we did because i remember no. Maybe. I don't know. No, no, because we made the Seamoth to go over there and we used the Seamoth down there. So we did we did that after. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Because I I couldn't dive down there because there was too little oxygen to work with. That is right. You might just not have picked up the PDA emitting the beacon. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Well, that gives us a, a mission. We can just go. We can just use the sea moth to get there. Honestly. So did you do it after or before? I think after. I think after because I took the sea moth down there, and I remember I made the sea moth and immediately used it to go over there because I realized how far away it was and I knew I wasn't going to be able to swim all the way there. So I built the sea moth. Like, right before, or, like, right after they told me, like, to go there. So, yeah. The PDA from Life Pod gives you the beacon. The beacon for over there? Oh. Wait, really? Oh. I'm just gonna go check that out, actually. Let's click the PDA again real quick. Alright. I think it might be easier just to take the Seamoth, honestly. So I'm just going to do that. But yeah, we've been there a couple times before, but I very well might have just missed something. Yeah, don't, please, don't bite me. I appreciate it. Yeah. 
Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, we're here? Oh wait, hold on. Oh boy. Oh, I went to like the wrong side of this cliff. Okay, that was a little scary. <laughs> I've been there before, but I, I just wasn't ready to be there, I guess. I wasn't confident enough to just fully dive down in there into the blue area because I haven't like fully explored that very much yet. But yeah, we've definitely been down here before. We'll, we'll give it another gander. I feel like the beacon wouldn't have disappeared though if I was already, if I didn't do what I needed to though. I don't know, but I could be wrong. Rude. Oh, is it not here? It is over here, right? Oh, might not be. Hold on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. It's like down there. Okay. Excuse me. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Did you see the water hole in the middle of the island? Yes, I did. I did. Are you supposed to go down there? Oh, I didn't want to go down there. That was so scary to me. Wait, are you... Oh, wait, you mean here? Or... You mean over there, right? Is that what you're talking about? In the middle of the island? That was the depth... That was the dark, deep depths of the depths. I didn't want to go there. Oh man. Oh no. I avoided that specifically. On the shore of the water hole. Okay, that's a little more manageable, I guess, but still. That whole island is just surrounded by pure. I would have to, like, figure out where the Sunbeam Island is first. Just because I can't. What is this game? It's Subnautica. It is Subnautica? Um, it does say Subnautica. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, I was afraid that it didn't uh, actually tell what game I was playing. I didn't actually check that earlier. But um, essentially, it's uh, where you are you crash on an alien planet that's pretty much all water, I think, for the most part. And um, north-ish from your life pot. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll try I can try to go that way. Um, you think I should go in there and just the sea moth, or should I bring the cyclops? I feel like the reaper will attack the cyclops, though. I feel like I won't be able to get away from it. The sea moth, I didn't... Well, technically, I didn't run into it at all, but just in case. I kind of just want to take the faster thing. But then again, it could attack the sea moth, too. Well, you can plant it pretty close to the shore, at least, with the sea moth. I also hate that sound that plays. Um, but yeah, uh, to continue my thing, I, I kind of got distracted. But um, essentially, if you turn off the Cyclops, it won't attack it unless it accidentally swims into it. Alright, um, I'll do that then. Should I take a... I should probably take the Sea Moth like, in there, maybe. I'll do that, okay. Thank you for the tips. Um, but yeah, to continue the explanation of what Subnautica is... You crash onto a sea planet full of tons of monsters and other just interesting aquatic life forms. And you just kind of figure out how to get off and survive and that kind of stuff. And it's a lot of exploration and a lot of scary stuff. And yeah. Um, but to add a little bit more to it, I have the Lassophobia. Which is, uh, oh, I didn't actually fill my thing up with gold. I should probably go do that. And apparently there's aliens here. Yes, it's true. There used to be a group of aliens here. But apparently they got... We learned that they got killed by some disease that apparently I also have. So it's like Minecraft. Mmm... Maybe. <laughs> it's a little. I mean, it has similarities for sure. This is more like intended to be like spooky and scary and stuff. But yeah. It's like, um, imagine if the nether was an underwater, like, imagine if the, uh, what are they called, sea temples? Imagine if the sea temples and the nether, like, combined, and that was just the entire game. That's pretty much what it would be like. 
just really weird, scary, dark, underwater, that kind of stuff. I'm going to save right here, just in case something really bad happens. But yeah, we'll go ahead. Minecraft is scary? Well, it can be scary, I suppose, but this is more like intentionally scary. Minecraft is like, it can be, but like, it's not exactly their intention to scare you. At least usually. Rude. Actually, how's that? How's the health of our thingy? I don't like the sounds. I don't like being so close to the aurora. It's probably light, flip, camera, all right, action. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. Actually, no, the devs said it was supposed to be a normal survival crafting game, so it wasn't intentionally supposed to be scary, but they still did this. Those monsters. Can't believe them. Alright, so we're going, like, straight north. Hopefully, this all goes well. But I'm not gonna lie, if I do get attacked by a reaper, I might just panic and, like, just quit. <laughs> not gonna lie, I get super scared of this game. Also, um, I did want to say that I probably wasn't planning playing okay sudden changes of lighting scare me uh just a shout out um god all right um even though this isn't very far from where we're, is it over there um anyway uh what was i saying i completely lost my train of thought because i was just so scared by the whole entire scenery changing um oh goodness me uh somehow this is scarier I completely lost my train of thought, and I hate this so much. Um, um the, the, something Minecraft. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, <laughs> I just forget whatever I was saying. I guess. Uh, they just accidentally made a game that garnered the reputation as one of the scariest. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Wait, what's the difference between? Oh, screw keel. Is this the right way? I feel like this isn't. We're going like pretty straight north. I have no idea. The cloud is covering it up. Okay, good. Good to know. Okay, just making sure. Because I'm like, I have no idea if this is the right way. And just not having any idea of what's ahead of me is really terrifying. Also, okay, wait, hold on. I got really confused with my camera for a second. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Right there. Good, good, good. Oh my god. Right, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Just don't look down. Just don't look down. This is a safe place to park it, right? Right around here? Yes, no, maybe so, maybe baby, please. Oh god. So, you were saying uh, earlier that... Let me take a look at your thing again. Um, if you turn off... Okay. If you turn the Cyclops off, we should be fine. All right. Back, back in. Ah, thank you for redeeming the, the uh, thing. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I have to turn this off, right? All this, all this off, right? Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Most loyal Oni. Yeah, no one, no one had, uh, no one had done that yet. Always be sure to check it. Oh, there's one of those. That sucks. But it doesn't seem like the Reaper is around right now. Luckily. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Prevent players. That makes sense. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming this is fine. I'm assuming I can just leave this be. Do I have to turn everything off, though? They weren't loyal enough. Ah, uh, understandable. True, true, true. All right, I'm hoping that's enough. Okay, this is fine. Good. All systems online.
Also, the easier worries the Reaper is behind the island. Ah, oh, thank the gods. Thank you, thank you for the info. That really helps. And last time I just left my sea moth, like, kind of just planted here. So I'm hoping that's still, like, fine to do. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, alright. Or I feel like it's fine. Well, actually, I mean, really, honestly, it's not that far away. So I could probably just, uh... I could probably just make my way there myself. Honestly, if anything were to attack me, it would probably be more stressful to try to park this thing correctly. So I'll just do it like this. Alright. Thank you for all the tips, by the way. Okay. Where... Okay, there it is. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. That is really scary, having, like, a completely dark ship. That's... weird. Well, I mean, it's not saying it's damaged, so hopefully that's fine. Alright, anyway, let's go down, shall we? Please don't be right outside, Mr. Warper, or whatever your name is. Oh, it's night. Okay, never mind. We go back. 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 I'm a coward. We go back. Uh, where's ladder? There we go. Alright. Oh, my goodness. The reason they scream so loud is that they use echolocation to find things in the lore. In the game, they just roam around randomly. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay. That seemed about right. It didn't seem like they, uh, in particular had, um, any, like, anything other than their eyes. But I guess that would make sense. A lot of creatures tend to be like that. Plant. All right, now we go. All right. This time we go for real. Yeah, I apologize if me being a scaredy cat makes you not really like watching as much, but, uh... I'm doing my best to overcome my fears. I don't know why I went up there, but yeah, we'll see. I hope that thing doesn't attack me. It would be very unfortunate. Not the Reaper, the Warper, wherever that guy is. But alright. Back here again. Ooh, it's been a while. Land, sweet land. Oh, man. Right. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to go to the middle thing and pick up that PDA, because hopefully that'll help me out. If not, then yikes. <laughs> It'd be really a shame if I accidentally got it and just didn't know about it. But yeah, those are like this, if you can hear it, it can see you though. It's lore accurate, but not game accurate. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's like down there somewhere. If I'm not mistaken, I remember seeing it there before. But I'm not too sure exactly where it what like where it is at all times. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> um, I want a flashlight? Because honestly, there's probably a good amount of like the caves that I haven't explored either. Because I just couldn't see anything when I was trying to explore through them before. It's so hard. Visibility was at an all time low here. Yeah, the Reapers are, are very scary. Just the fact that you can hear them from so far away. It's so, like, intimidating, honestly. Because usually, when it comes to animals especially, usually, the louder they are, the bigger they are. Usually that's the case. Not always. Diamond. Yeah, like, I didn't even... I couldn't even see anything in this entire room, so I didn't even bother. Lithium. Lithium. Not that we really are in a shortage of lithium anymore, but eh, we'll take it. Yeah, I couldn't see this entire area last time we were here. 
And I know this isn't like the primary reason we're here, but you know, I, might, I figured I might as well take a gander around here. Man, this does have a lot of loot. It's insane they accidentally made a game. Yeah, how do you accidentally make something this scary? How could you not? How could you make the Reaper Leviathan? How could you be one of the guys that's like, yeah, make this, make this thing with the giant like face claws and like just have it like just be there and do these kinds of sounds? How could you do that and not expect people to like fear it for all eternity? <laughs> Whoever designed a lot of this stuff in this game and didn't expect it to be a horror game has to have, like, nerves of steel. <laughs> they have to be one of the toughest individuals that the planet's ever seen. Because, my god. Okay, I don't really like that. Kind of weird looking. Alright, we'll make our way back up now. I prefer Subnautica over normal horror game, either way. I dislike games that rely on cheap jump scares a lot. I, in terms of a horror game, I definitely think Subnautica is better, but it's definitely not one that I prefer, because I genuinely feel terrified at Subnautica's horror. Whereas with the other games, I could be like, oh, that surprised me, you know? <laughs> but it definitely is better in this game than a lot of the standard horror games, I will say. I've been playing Resident Evil games like quite a bit recently, and I've been a, I've been a fan of them. Here we go. Man, I've not been drinking any of my. I usually drink while playing games, but I've been too stressed out. But yeah, I'll probably play for. Oops, I accidentally knocked something over. Apologies. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna. Oh goodness, why did the lighting change like that? That was a little, a little panic inducing for a second. Maybe it's like an eclipse outside, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's just the lighting in here. I have no idea. Um, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I think Subnautica scares me more, but I think that might be more of like a personal me thing than anything. It scares me a little too much for my comfort, but like... I'm trying my bad. I'm not jumping in there. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not jumping in there because I know the moment I jump in there and I look down, I'm going to have a heart attack because it's going to be pure just nothing. I'm going to take my time. Take my baby steps towards here. Okay. Well, let's go down this way. This seems like the best path. All right. Oh, boy. But yeah, I definitely don't like the kind of stuff that just jump. Oh, you're joking. Oh no, we gotta go. Can we go around? Oh, we can We can kind of go around. Oh, thank the heavens. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, you were right, it's a PDA. Thank you for the tip again. You've been very helpful. I appreciate it. Apologies for being such a baby, but water scares me, <laughs> you know? It's insane how I can't seem to be able to comprehend that streamers can be chatters and vice versa. Uh, what, um... Do you mean, like, that we can talk a lot? Or... Or what? What do, what do, what, what specifically do you mean when you say chatter? I don't know if I'll be able to give any insight to you on why that is or anything like that, but I mean, I could try. I know who you are, but for me, the chatter isn't the same person as the streamer. Oh, like when you see me chatting in other streams. Oh, uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. I guess that makes sense. I tend to be a lot more like... Hmm, what's the word? And I don't really remember. Okay, I think this is the right way. Okay. Perfect. Now we could go back. Actually, well, real quick though, I probably should maybe, well, first let's get back to the ship and then I can look at the PDA and see what we got from it. Um, but yeah, I tend, to, I tend to be more like reserved, I feel like, on streams. Like, I tend to just like make silly little jokes, but I don't really talk a ton usually more often than not. Usually I'll be working if I'm like watching people's streams. Um, you know, I'll, I'll usually be working on stuff. A lot of times I actually, I feel pretty bad because... 
I won't respond to things for a while because like I'll be working on something audio related so I'll mute the stream for a bit while I'm working on that and when I come back like you know or whatever I'll uh I'll like say something else and they're like oh yeah I asked this before but I guess you were not here um but this this and I'm like oh my goodness I'm sorry <laughs> like you know like well, I mute the tab, I should say. I mute the tab that the stream's on. Because I know if you mute the stream itself, it actually doesn't count as a view, I think. So people often are like, hey, if you could not, you know, if you could just mute the tab with like a, because you can get plugins for Chrome that will do that. You can just mute a tab instead of muting the stream itself so that it still counts as a view. But um, I don't know too much about that, but I just do that because that's what I hear. I got recommended a uh, a plugin that should do that and still count it, I think. As far as I know, that's the case. So yeah. That is what I do. But yeah. Um I'll do that sometimes and I'll feel bad cuz I'll miss it. But yeah. Um but yeah, I don't know. I I don't really know. I guess I've never really looked at how I've uh chatted on a stream as opposed to you know, you know, stream myself. I don't really know what the differences are. But I feel like I usually, I talk a lot more when I'm streaming, when I'm talking. I feel like I talk a lot more than I, like, type. But when I type, I think a lot about what I say. I, I think a lot more about what I say anyway. I, I, I try to think about what I do when I type, and please don't aggro onto me. That would be very rude if you did. Thank you. Excuse me. Let me turn on the lighting real quick. And let's get this thing in high gear, or medium gear, I guess, and get out of here. I follow a lot of accounts, and sometimes it takes me a really long time to realize who they are. Oh, have you, like... Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. I, I, I get what you... I, I think I understand what you're meaning. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how different I am in stream than I am in chat. I imagine I am, you know, I imagine you're not wrong about that. I just never really thought about it myself. Never really thought about how I behave in a chat as opposed to a stream. I never really, I never really thought about it all too much. Oh yeah, I did want to check and see, I guess we could do that when we get back to base. We can see what the, um, the thing gets me. So I'm assuming getting that PDA will, um allow another radio to come in that might lead me closer to where I need to go. Hey, Forrest, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. That is Forrest, right? It's kind of hard for me to tell on the screen if that's an F or a T, but I believe it's Forrest, am I right? Hello, Mario. <laughs> hello, Mario. Hello, hello, welcome. I hope you're, I hope you're, I was gonna say Saturday. I hope your Friday's been going well. Welcome, welcome aboard. I don't know either. It's more about how my brain works and stores information on people. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, yeah, you kind of have to create your own impression on someone based on how they, like, type and stuff. I I understand that. Okay. Hold on. This doesn't seem like something I can go through. Ah, uh, so god, right. We're gonna have to steer this bad boy around. Let's not go too close to the Aurora, but let's also not, you know, crash our ship on some shallow things. You know, actually, speaking about crashing a ship on um, shallow shores, did you know, actually, that the fame, in, well, infamous pirate Blackbeard's ship, it's m his most uh, well-built ship, his most destructive ship, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but apparently his best ship that he ever had, like the most fearsome one he had. I, I, maybe it was like the Queen S. Anne or something, or like the, I don't know if it, I, was it? I don't think it was the Flying Dutchman. I really doubt it was, but um, it was like a very notorious ship, like everyone feared it. And apparently, he crashed it. <laughs> he beached it, uh, like I almost did, right there. He actually just crashed it on the shore, or someone did anyway. I don't know if he steered his own ship or what. 
but yeah, apparently it uh, it didn't really get much uh, much use because <laughs> it just uh, it just crashed pretty quickly. I need the vacuum in my room. BRB, okay, all good, all good. Get your room all clean and stuff. I get you. Best of luck with that. Okay, let's go a little lower so we don't have to deal with that. Powering down. It's a team effort. Yep, it's all a team effort, baby. But yeah, I don't remember. Someone, like, someone on his ship just beached it, like, really soon. Like, it apparently only was, like, active for, like, a couple months, you know? And, uh, I thought that was pretty funny. I, uh, well, I hope that Blackbeard himself was the one who crashed it. Because otherwise, whoever did it is was gonna die like no no chance they wouldn't you know <laughs> whoever did that was not was gonna have a very bad time insert sans undertale reference here we got all these things though i don't know why i'm saying these are new decoy tubes i'm pretty sure we had all of these for a while okay um let's go to the thing Databank. Alright, we should have gotten something new, I think. Aurora, maybe? Rendezvous voice log. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from Second Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Well, that's unfortunate. Rip those guys, I guess. <laughs> Yikers. Well, that's... Yeah, that do be unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes sometimes, ain't it? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, hello, big boy. How are you doing? You got really close to the ship, huh, buddy? Well, don't don't mess around too much with that. That's kind of that could be dangerous for both of us if that explodes or something. So please don't do anything to it. I don't even know if you can, but if you can, please choose not to. It'd be in both of our best interest. All right. I don't think they killed people just like that, but maybe he was asked to survive on a random island by himself. Um, I don't know. They might have killed. I mean, I figured they would have. I mean, Blackbeard is like was known for being like ruthless and cruel and things like that as far as I'm aware but granted I don't know the guy <laughs> I can't say I really know the guy too well you know maybe maybe I'm wrong but I figured he was a pretty pretty ruthless guy all around his enemies yeah sure I'd imagine but I don't know like to, um, to think that you know you'd sink so much money into like a ship you know so much effort you know I figured that if someone were to mess that up, they would probably have many consequences to, to pay. But yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. I mean, granted, I, I I never heard who actually crashed it. It might have been him, again, like I said. I don't know. Like a lithium-2 locker. Do we have a gold locker? We do. It's almost full. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. Eat. Vital signs stabilizing. Yes, sir. And we need... Yeah, we need more, anywho. All good. But yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know anything about Blackbeard. I, I just assumed that if some random dude... Or, well, I guess it wouldn't be a random dude. I guess you wouldn't let a random dude just steer your ship. But still, I figured... 
if some crewmate of yours, you know, you put so much effort into making this really good... It was a very customized ship. Um, it was very interesting, actually. I don't exactly remember the how they managed to make it the way they did. But yeah, I figure you crash a whole ship, make it useless, strand all of your crewmates, essentially, on whatever island you're on. I figure you probably die. That would just be my assumption. I like how <laughs> you do the dive animation because it views this as water. That's kind of silly. I like that. <laughs> Pirate Co. was a thing. I don't exactly know the Pirate's Co. I know you're not supposed to kill crewmates, but I feel like the captain can if he wants to. I don't know. Maybe the pirates... Maybe the captain's even susceptible to it. How are, the, how are these... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so it, it, it drains through these, like, one one at a time, I guess? A little interesting. Okay. Did we turn the engine off, by chance? Because if not, I'm going to lower this a little. No, it's offline. Alright, well, we'll just leave it be. That's fine. Yeah, I can't say I know too much about pirates and stuff like that. I just figure if I was Blackbeard, I'd be I'd be very mad. I'd be very mad about crashing my ship. Especially it was only like a couple months after it got finished or something like that. Apparently it didn't last very long. Pretty immediately just like bam, in the water, dead. <laughs> I would be pretty mad about it. But I guess I'm not Blackbeard after all. What do I know? You? Alright, let's take a look. How's the fuel source doing? Oh, actually really good. Better than I would I thought. Okay. I guess we could just throw this away. Nope. Oh, it wasn't a universal thing. Each captain had their own code. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wonder I wonder what his was then. Leon Kennedy, how are you doing? Hello, hello. How are you doing, friend? Welcome, welcome. I hope your Friday has been treating you well. Hmm. I wonder how much more I'm going to play. I do have something planned for a little bit later, like more towards 6 or 7-ish today. Um, another VTuber. Amelia did want to play Overwatch, and I did. I actually didn't know if we were going to stream that or not, or she probably was. I don't know if I'm going to as well. I don't know exactly. I probably should have talked that out a bit before, but I was so tired last night. I didn't bother, and I forgot to today. Probably should ask, but I'll, I'll do that whenever I end. So I'll probably wrap up in like an hour or less. So, yeah, probably. But how's your day been? Hmm, now I'm trying to think about what I should be doing. I don't really know. I don't have any clues. I guess the only thing I can do is going toward... Well, okay, so now that we know, we know where that island is now. We know where the island is. It's south... It's north of the thing. So it's southwest of that. Right? If I'm not mistaken... It is go up, go data downloads, codes and clues, alien facility locations. It is 800 meters down. It is southwest of the enforcement platform. So south, it's over there. So southwest of that is that way. So it's like there and then there. Ooh, no, that's scary area that's like kind of close to the reaper not quite it's kind of like it's kind of teasing a little bit it's kind of like oh we're kind of close all right and does it say anything about the other one no thermal power facility location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity doesn't really give me a lot of clues as to where it is. I guess anywhere where there's a lot of volcanoes. Hey, Double Master, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. How's your day been today? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. The only thing we have an idea of is this disease research facility. I'm not too sure. Welcome back, Ben. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we got the PDA. That's all good. Figured it out. 
well, not really. Um, but yeah, Life Pod nine, no, not nineteen. Rendezvous voice log didn't really give us a lot of info, cause yeah, they wanted to repair the Aurora. Hmm, I don't know. I'm doing good. That's good to hear. How about you? I'm doing pretty well myself. We have been doing our best to make progress here, but I'm just kind of struggling and putting all this information together and trying to figure out what we need to do next. My only real lead to go off of thus far has been southwest of the island we were just at, which it's a lead, I suppose. It's not one that I'm really too keen on following because it's... Uh, exploring new areas in the deep, dark, scary ocean is not really exactly my favorite pastime, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Um, but I guess I should look into what upgrades I can get. I can't, I don't have nickel, so I can't do that. And we don't have any clue where the volcano region one is, either. Like, the thermal plant thing. I have no idea. You seen Naruto? Yes, I have. I've watched Naruto ever since I was uh, a little one. But uh, I stopped watching around near, like, the second half of Shippuden, I believe. Like, um, I don't want to say too much, just in case someone hasn't watched very far into it. But, like, the a war section happens, like a war arc kind of deal. But, like, right around when that was starting up, I kind of stopped watching it. But I played the Ninja Storm four game, so I kind of know how everything happens, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You're weird now? Am I weird? Because I've watched Naruto? Oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't know that, that meant I was weird. Apologies. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea. Well, you know, I always knew I was a little weird, so you know what? Fair enough. probably need to look I'm, I probably want to look at some upgrades for the Cyclops honestly maybe that's what I want to do Loki want to get a pair of Itachis you know just for the heck of it a pair of Itachis um like uh yeah I don't know a pair of Itachis what Steel ingot ruby. Okay, we can get that pretty easily. We already have that installed. A sonar upgrade would probably be a good idea, I imagine. Cyclops docking bay repair module. That could be good, but I don't really know if that would be like optimal. I don't know. Maybe. Itachi's things, you know? Oh, like the Sharingan? I'm assuming. <laughs> Either that or like, uh,. Yeah, that's what I would assume. And contacts, maybe? I know they do have contacts of stuff like that, like anime eyes. It's pretty interesting, actually, I must say. Fire suppression. Oh, that's cool. That would be neat to have, just in case I blow my ship up, essentially, again. Computer chip. Magnetite. Okay, computer chip, magnetite, plasteel, ingot, ruby. That won't be too difficult to procure. It do be night. All right, let's go ahead and just sleep in the half water. And also think about getting his ring. His ring is pretty cool. The Akatsuki rings are pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty cool. Definitely I'm a fan. All right. Yeah, I think we'll make some of these and then we'll probably wrap things up for today. I don't know why I feel the uh, I feel the sneeze. Don't sneeze me. Jeez. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I don't know. Why. I thought I felt like a sneeze coming on. I was like, no, no can do. Uh, we need more titanium though. We're always kind of low on titanium, aren't we? I wonder. Wait, do we have any in our storage? I don't think so. We need to take a look. Open storage. No, we don't. Okay. Good to know. I think we still have some on the ship, but not, like, enough, I don't think. I think we have, like, five, maybe? Yeah, the Akatsuki rings are pretty cool. I I like rings a lot, actually. If I if I were to wear any, like, jewelry, it would probably be, like, rings, I'd say. But, um, there's not, like, a lot that I really am huge on, I'd say. 
Tachi might be my favorite character. I mean, he is like one of the best characters. I think he's the most, like, the best written character in the show. To be honest with you, I definitely think he is. I'm gonna be lurking for a bit. Bye. Okay. All right, Dark. Have a good one. Have a good lurk. Thank you for coming by. If I don't hear from you again, which we might be wrapping up the stream soon-ish, in like the next like 10, 20 minutes-ish. So yeah, but I will be streaming later tonight. But if I do, it'll probably be with Gem. So you probably will be watching that. Maybe on her end. Most likely. But yeah, I appreciate it. And see ya soon. Ooh, quartz. Pog. It close between him and Pain. True. Pain's really good too. Actually, yeah. You might be right. I do kinda like Pain more. Um, just personally, because I think he I think he like really mm, I don't know. Nah, nah, I probably still give it with Itachi, actually. I do think Pain was like the best character that like mm, I don't know <laughs> I think he's definitely like the most interesting character that Naruto like encountered I feel like just because having a character whose like beliefs like kind of align and contrast with your protagonist is so important like a foil character you know that is so important for a story and I think it was just really done there um, unfortunately, I think I, I really don't like Naruto after the Pain arc. Because I feel like Naruto really accomplishes his main goal after he beats Pain. Uh, I guess, well, I don't know. That might be a spoiler, but, you know. Naruto beats the villain that he's fighting, you know. Oh no. Uh, so sorry if that's like a, you know. You mean today, right? Oh, did I say tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah, I meant to say today. I meant to say, like, later today. I might I might have, uh... <laughs> I might have messed my words up. But yes, yes, yes. Like, two hours from now, essentially. Or one, maybe. Yeah, we should probably step the pace up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I did not mean some other time. I did not mean tomorrow or anything, for sure. Uh, how many do we need? I forget how many we needed. Dang it. My brain is all kinds of confuzzled right now. You said if I don't see you again. Yes. Yes. Yes, again, today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is what I meant, yes. Yes, I understand now. <laughs> I, was, I was confused for a second. I'm like, yeah, what do, you, what do you mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ever again. This is the last chance you'll ever get. <laughs> This is the last chance you'll ever get to see me. I'll just go MIA after the, today. Just completely drop off the face of the earth. Totally, totally. Yeah, Pain, Pain I think, was the best villain, for sure. Like, afterwards, I feel like... Because, like, Naruto's whole deal is, like, he wants to be accepted. So, he wants to become the Hokage. And Itachi says, like, hey, it's not about... Well, he says this after, you know, that arc or whatever, but he's like, you know, it's not about being accepted that makes you a Hokage, or like, uh, no, he says like, being the Hokage won't make you accepted, but like, people's acceptance makes you a Hokage. Oh, we only need one! Oh, Pog, okay, that's good. What about the other one? Computer chip magnetite 3. 3? Three? 3, okay. Yeah, we don't even need this scan for anything more. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's very interesting. So once he becomes like, he becomes accepted after that arc, pretty much. Well, kind of. But like, you know, I feel like that's like mission done, Bapu Beep, you know? If if like in a couple years he were to be like, hey, I'm gonna become Hokage, I feel like people would be down for that. Cause like, dang, he saved, you know, a lot of people, you know? I feel like people would have been pretty chill with that at that point, you know? So I feel like the whole rest of the story you know, didn't feel as impactful because he had already accomplished, like, the main goal. At least in my books he did. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm the only one that feels like that. I have no idea. But they needed to resolve other stories, which I get. So, yeah. Itachi wasn't so much a villain as fantastic character. Yeah, I agree. You know, totally. I don't really view him. I mean, even as a villain, he was really good, though. Like, you know, for the time he was, like, viewed as a villain. I feel like he was still, like, a really good villain overall. 
Oh wow, that's the last of our rubies. Well, it's fine. Uh, oh wait, we do, do we not have magnetite? Oh, wait, no we do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, we got more. I thought we only had two in there. I was gonna be surprised. Uh, we need computer chip too. Computer chip, we need ta table coral, copper, gold. All right. Gold. Table coral one. Wait, is that it? No. Oh. We don't have enough table coral. Dang it. We never have enough table coral. And copper. We only have one copper. Are you kidding me? <sighs> All right. Fine. So be it. We'll find this soon. We'll figure it out. Very soon. Alright, there we go. And we need one more thing. Yeah, there's the goal of Sasuke, but like, you know, I feel like that's like less important overall. That's kind of, that kind of felt like something that became important, like kind of out of nowhere. You know? It kind of felt like the side story, you know? Because it felt like Sasuke really just didn't care, you know? Sasuke was just kind of like, whatever about it. And, like, at that point, he, like, I mean, honestly, not to say what happens between him and Itachi, but after the things that go with him and Itachi, it really feels like he could just, like, you know, be like, okay, you know, like, do what I gotta do, you know? Like, I understand how, like, you know, what what was going on. I I, I get it now. You know, and he could have just went back. You know, that could have been the whole deal. Now, granted, that might not have been a very satisfying ending. But still, I feel like it could have went that way. Oh, nice. We got lucky. Pog. But yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people really do not like Sasuke's uh, whole entire deal. With, like, after the arc with Pain and stuff. And, like, his kind of, like, goals from there on. But I actually really like it. I think it was really well done. Do you feel the drastic change? Do I feel like it was a good thing? I thought it was pretty well done. I think it made sense. I feel like a lot of people thought it didn't. How do you feel? I thought it was good. I thought it was I thought it made sense. I feel like a lot of people really didn't like it. But like to me it, it kind of made sense. It's like you have to put that you have to put the anger that you held for so long somewhere, you know? It because like you know because at the end of the day you know like if you don't if you don't like get to the root of the matter like did you really like you know succeed in doing that like will you succeed in stopping something like that from happening again not really because like you know that he, he was he was attacking something that was not the root of the problem it was just the end of the problem you know it was like the it was like the tail end of things really like he didn't really accomplish much of anything oh no matter how unfortunate that is uh, we got our upgrades whip whip oh let's go 900 meters baby let's go that's pog all right well, I'm gonna go back to my base and then I'm probably going to wrap up the stream there. Um, we're gonna raid someone really quick, if there is anyone to raid right now. And then, like I said, I will be back. I'll probably be back streaming on in a couple of hours from now. So if you would like to join for that, I will be posting about that in Discord and Twitter. And then we'll have to see um, where that goes. But yeah, I do appreciate everyone who joined today. I do appreciate all the helpful advice that you guys gave me. A lot of good stuff that I was told, that you're mentioning. A lot of good help, and hopefully, I don't exactly know what help the PDA is for the rendezvous point, but at least we got it, you know. So I mean, that was pretty good. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and look for some of the raid real quick, and we'll do that here. Hold on, let me go to the just chatting mode real quick while we do that. If you could stick around for the raid, I'd really appreciate it. Show them some support, and uh, you know, if we do find anyone, anyway, we might not. I have no idea. Yeah, kind of shows less of a selfish goal and more of a duty. Yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like, he thought, like, really, like, that was the end-all be-all. It was just, like, Itachi went wild, did his thing, and that was it. 
you know, and that just just didn't happen to be the case. So we had to figure out what the source of the problem was. Oh, Queenie is playing something. Oh, brilliant. Okay, we'll raid. We'll raid Queenie. So yeah, if you guys could please stay for the raid and at least just say hi or you know copy and paste the raid message I'm gonna put. That would be really really appreciated. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Um, but anyway. If you haven't followed any of my socials, there they are. We'll, we'll be posting anything about streams on like pretty much Twitter and Instagram, but mainly Twitter. Or if you use Discord, there's the Discord. Oh, thank you for following. I appreciate that, Ben. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Very appreciated. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hopefully, uh, my noobness at Subnautica didn't deter you. It doesn't seem like it did anyway, but thank you for all the helpful advice. I was really appreciated. And there's the Discord if anyone wants to join that. We'll also be posting any stream announcements on there. And if you just like to send like, I don't know, videos or memes or whatever, pet pics in any of those chats, feel free to. We have lots of stuff open just for people to put whatever they want. Just have a fun time. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start up the raid and then I'll put the raid message in real quick. So this is a Mario party collab yeah that'll be fun catch you later yeah catch you later yeah if you want to if you are available and want to join the stream later i'll see you then but if not then whenever you feel like joining the stream again appreciate it there is the raid we're starting it up and here is the raid message so you can just copy and paste that when we get in there and yeah have a good day afternoon evening or night wherever you are whenever you are and i'll see you guys very soon in a couple hours probably but it, again, if not, that's all good. I'll see you whenever. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>